Hello, and welcome to day two of our Skyward Sword Marathon. My Skyward Sword Marathon. Jack's not here. But, uh, I did a five-hour stream of this yesterday, my first time playing. I got through the first dungeon, and hopefully, I'd like to think we could, we could make a pace of, like, one dungeon per stream, but apparently there's only four of them, and this is a very long game, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. Uh, so last time I, uh, I was kind of busy with stream stuff during the introduction. I want to take a second to see this again. I look back on it a little bit, and there are, like, a few story beats that I missed. chance to uh, show up. Okay. So one day a bunch of demons showed up. And they were after the ultimate power protected by the goddess Hylia. I don't think we're supposed to know that her name is Hylia, but I'm pretty sure that's the goddess. A power she received from other gods. So there's like a hierarchy here. There's creation gods, like the, the, the three of them, Dineru and Faror, I assume. And then there's this other goddess, Hylia. Also, this is kind of the important part I missed. She just stuck all the humans up on an island. Everyone else wasn't important enough, I guess. All the Gorons and any all the other races just stayed down here and, like, fought the evil. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit uncomfortable how often this series refers to Hylians as, like, the closest to the gods and, like, the, the, the privileged race and all that shit. That happens a lot in Zelda. I mean, I guess they are. This kind of proves it, but still. So there's our full introduction that uh, I, I kind of missed the first time. Uh, is that the same? Yeah, that's the same file. I remember we ended the last stream by uh, shopping at Beetles. We got the butterfly net, we got a bigger wallet. We may have gotten into trouble at a tavern, and we're looking for a little girl. Hey! Hello, Fletch. Tracking down- no, I'm tracking down a different person now. I am now a professional person finder. Yeah, we have to find Kukiel. I know a lot of the bird, like the bird names. I don't, I don't recognize all of the puns. I also wonder if, if these characters had the same names in Japanese or uh, if th if these are localized names. Mm. Oh, there's actually like a, a sleep to restore health mechanic in this. 
That's like an RPG thing. Has that ever been a... That's never been a thing in a Zelda game before this, has it? Maybe it has. I haven't played the 2D ones. Playing by the graveyard. We have a graveyard? Where's the graveyard? I guess it makes sense. That that's uh you run you run out of plots real quickly in a limited place like this. How many people have died in the history of this island? Where's my beacon? There it is. Okay. I assume by the fact that it's the fire tablet and there was mention of Elden that we'll be going to a uh, Goron-type area next. Oh, there is a graveyard. I just never came over here. Wouldn't be a Zelda game without uh, defiling graves. This is gonna be a puzzle, isn't it? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have like a certain pattern of graves moved. Uh, well, I thought that was a door. I guess it's not. Okay, what is that? Hello? Gossel. All the things you see in my house are very old and valuable. Well, that sounds like an invitation. Okay. 20 rupees is a rare and valuable antique. Also, I broke, like, an entire shelf of things. I think she's just making up these prices. Okay. Well, there are no little girls in here. I feel like this is going to be a more, uh, a more in involved thing than I was anticipating with the graveyard. Well, I don't know about monsters. Well, no, just because I said there, there wasn't a monster doesn't mean I don't think she's gone missing. There's an old man who lives near here who's always ranting about hidden monsters. Okay. Man, I gotta go back to the bar for this? I don't know how much time I want to spend on side quests in this game. I know this game is uh, fairly long, as is. Where is the, where's the, there's the thing.
I'll try to see this through to the end at least. Sorry if these strings start a little bit slow. I, fe I feel like I need to, like, talk for a little while before my voice wakes up and I can really, uh, be engaging. Not that I just got up, I just, uh, you know, been sitting around. I haven't been using my voice until just now. I see some people in chat. How are you guys doing? I'm gonna walk in here and he's gonna give, he's going to give me another job. I was kind of avoiding coming back here, but they uh it's probably why they specifically sent me back here again. Oh, they have like they have like quest markers on relevant NPCs. There's a lot of RPG mechanics in this that have not been in previous Zeldas. There's a demon in Skyloft. No one's seen it and lived. Okay, tell me, old man. I was able to escape by the seat of my pants. I was saved by my cat-like reflexes. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. Walked by that tree in the middle of the night. Saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree. Okay. So it was the shed. I was right about the suspicious shed. Why, why couldn't I open the door? Why, why can't Link just like use his arms and, and push? We gotta solve a puzzle for that? really just like to fast travel between locations. The, this flying thing isn't particularly interesting, I gotta say. It's like the ocean in Wind Waker all over again, but even more empty. I'm just flying back and forth between two locations in a big expanse of nothing. Where's the houses? I think this was it. bath. And this music is very RPG. This sounds like something you would hear in Chrono Trigger. I don't have, like, the backflip or the roll. I, like, I hear people complain that this is very Zelda by the numbers, but it's got a lot of things that you take for granted in a Zelda game. Or it's lacking a lot of things that you just expect to be in a Zelda game. school in the middle of the night not doing it again I almost fell for it that's not the exit what really wait I can't leave at night 
Maybe the top door. <laughs> he has like a jog he does indoors. He doesn't run like full gait. Yeah, sneaking out. Up to no good. Out in the town in the middle of the night. Uh, graveyard. How do I get my beacon back? Beacon zero. Okay, how how get back though? Y X. I don't know how to restore my beacon. Okay, well I guess I don't have my beacon. I'll just have to find my way there the old-fashioned way. Wait, where am I? Okay, there I am. Uh... These beacon, mechan beacon mechanics could use some work. I should be able to just place a new waypoint whenever. Instead of having to manually retrieve the old one. What is that? It's like these devs have never played a game with waypoints before. Okay, there are monsters at night. Even the cats are feral at night. have drops, do they? I won't enjoy this, but I need to do it for science. Nope. Not done yet. Cowering won't help you. I guess it will. Now I just feel bad. Slime something for an upgrade. But these guys don't want to drop anything. Oh, hello. This is just a hole. I forgot I was on an island in the sky. I thought, hmm, what's underground? Maybe he's nice. Hello? Why do you look so scared? I was gonna say. Just because he's got horns and wings doesn't mean he's a bad guy. Can we talk? No? Is it gonna force me to attack him? I don't want to. He has made no hostile moves towards me yet. 
Oh, okay. Goodness, I know, I, I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you, I mean no harm. We were just playing this scream as loud as you can game. Okay. It's Batro. I am a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. Please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. It's just, it's the old Frankenstein story. I read the book. I know this story. It's proven quite difficult to break the ice when they're struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. His wings look fake. They look like they're made out of, like, uh, out of fabric. There's an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. <laughs> they do? Just looking at them and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into into a, you no you shouldn't have to change who you are. <laughs> He's self-loathing. I feel bad for this guy. Hello, Darian. Okay, sure. <laughs> Okay, I, I have to find gratitude crystals to turn this guy human, because it's the only way that he'll be accepted by by Skyloft society. That sounds more like a red flag for Skyloft society than anything. His eyes do look like a mustache. Hi. Hello, little girl. You, you should probably come back to the village, though. People are wondering where you're at. Said it was dangerous to go out alone at night, so I'll just hang out here for a while. Oh, okay. Y'all got, like, a bed or something? Or are you just gonna be, like, running around screaming all night? Well, we found her. These people are flying all over the place. How have they not found this structure until now? This island is the size of a high school f of, of a high school. You would think that surely every nook and cranny would have been discovered long ago. Can I, like, can I, like, net these guys? How do I get drops? I want to net you. The net's not working. I'm never gonna get goo. No? I don't understand how drops work. Well, I guess I should, like, make it day and talk to the mother again before I go.
You'd think they would have, like, people out here at night. I don't know, standing guard? If there's just, like, monsters out and about everywhere. No, the cats are fine. The cats will take care of it. Hello? Mm -hmm. What do you think you're doing in a girl's room at this time of night? <sighs> you know, I was kind of thinking that when I went in there. It would be a little scandalous. I didn't think she'd call me out on it. So someone's taking up the bath all night. I'm sure that'll be related to a, like a quest at some point. Wait, hold on. So the top floor is for the girls and the instructors, and the bottom floor is the boys. Sleep until night. 24 hours sleep. That's a skill. If Link can sleep for 24 hours on, on command, that's a talent. What have you been up to? Hey. Just Bruce being sad? That's all that's going on in your life? Alright. how he just plops himself into bed. He, he do do that. He's very relatable, this Link. I joke about the illusion of choice, but I like how you can at least... You can kind of tweak how he presents himself. Oh, okay. Sure. I didn't know this was here, but yeah, I'll take it. How do I open this? I can't? What if I... No? No, okay. I guess that's for later then. I didn't do it in time. Whoops. Thank you, but I had that under control. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, hold on. I was going to visit the I was going to visit the mother. Who was where again? I already forgot where the mother was. I guess she doesn't appear while I'm flying. Hey, Fledge, what do you know? I still haven't seen any sign of Kukul. Ah, I'm glad she's safe. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of dialogue in this game, I'll grant it that. They spent a lot of time on the text here.
Where Lady go? I don't know where she usually hangs out. I thought she was here last time. I'm sure things will work out. Pledge will uh, Fledge will tell her. I trust Fledge. I got, like, uh, Fate of Hyrule stuff to do. I feel like the, the down and up, like, speed gain, speed loss is unnecessary. This would kind of feel better if it was just fly straight at the same speed all the time. If there was a reason for it to be more complex, like Mario 64, there's depth to it because you're, like, it's, it's a platforming game. You're collecting things. You have to aim very specifically with your flight. This, there's just, it's just kind of flying through a whole lot of nothing, so it doesn't really add to the game. Alright, hello, Fi. Where are we? We going to Dongo's Cavern? I bought the metal shield. Sixty-five percent of the region is covered by lava. Sixty-five percent of the earth is covered with water. Sixty-five percent lava, that's nuts. Okay, idea for a series. One Piece, but instead of being an all-ocean world, it's an all-lava world. It fucking sucks to live there. Oh, I see a, I see a lava slime. Is it gonna drop stuff? I know there are slime-related drops. We saw them in the list. So either they're from different slimes, or there's something about monster drops that I'm not yet understanding. Ouch. There we go. Okay, I have my metal shield now. Oh boy, here we go. We, pl we platforming now. This is also a very croc-like setting. You're not Gorons. What are you? We're getting a bunch of new races in this game. I think you're right. No reason to scare the hair off of us, though. Sorry about that, pal. These monsters showing up and messing with our turf has got me on edge. They'll show up here, and I'm gonna knock the red clean out of them! Is that just- that's the threat all over the world. It's just an infestation of Bokoblins. The stakes have never been lower. They're just like, uh, they're- they're mole men. They're creepy little mole men. Yes, I am looking for a friend. A friend on a quest to bathe all over the land of Hyrule. She was sprinting by. Okay. It really does feel like Thousand Year Door, just chasing... Chasing the princess who has no reason to be running ahead of us in the first place. These guys are named after rocks and metals. What is, is this an Akira Toriyama project? Why, why are there so many goofy naming schemes on everything?
They really weren't joking with that 65%, though. Wait, what happened? Why did the ground solidify? What changed? Oh, okay. It rises and lowers. I see. I, 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 I get the picture. Fortunately, Link will not automatically jump at the edge of a platform like this, I suspect. No, he will not. He is not smart enough to do that. It's just a required mechanic that there be a uh, steep ledge for him to jump off of. It's weird to have a like, built like the entirety of 3D Zelda games around uh, an auto jump mechanic. If they're going to do auto jumping, you would think that he'd be able to do it any time that it would make sense to jump. No, there are very specific conditions that he needs to follow. There's Quartz. Who looks like, uh... Who does he look like? He looks like the... It's not King of Fighters. One of those, uh... One of the series by... That publisher. He's got, like, the, the, the windswept red hair. No, I'm not a friend of the red creeps. <laughs> I, I get him chased by bees and I push them off cliffs. Sure. Bomb flowers. You're joking, right? Those are them growing right over there. You pick one with A and the fuse lights. A few seconds later, boom! <laughs> Mogmas. That's the name of this race. Okay. We have Kikwis and Mogmas. Very different from Kikiri and Gorons. Iori, that's the, that's the guy. So we don't need a strength upgrade to uh, lift bombs in this one. This is once again... Kinda ocarina by the numbers in terms of uh, dungeons, though. I guess. I say that. The previous dungeon wasn't really like a, like a, a grass-themed dungeon. It was almost very loosely a water dungeon. But it was like slingshot-themed, or just like the Deku Tree was. We go to Area 2, we get Bomb Flowers. Probably get the bomb bag inside. Uh. I can't wait for Area 3 to uh, introduce a Zoron... Uh, Zoron. A Zora race equivalent. And for us to get... Uh, what did we get? We, in Jabu Jabu, we got the boomerang. We already got, like, a boomerang equivalent of sorts, though. The, the beetle was that, so. Maybe this is going to be like Majora. Maybe we're going to get about, uh, like, two items per dungeon. Now the stranger. You're not one of those red creeps, either. I swear this neighborhood's getting crummier every day. I saw this funny-dressed character go into that hole over there. Might be the friend you're looking for. You want to know what this hook, what, what, know what his kook was wearing? Uh, Let's see. Yeah, his getup was blackish. Other than that, I don't remember much. This is weird Brooklyn. This is weird lava Brooklyn. don't think you're gonna like the third area. Oh, okay. Like, me specifically. Is there something that would repel me about it, in particular? Uh, 
Okay, so I need to find a way to cross that. I'm guessing I might have to, like, get rocks in here to cross or something. I don't know. I have, like, the gl I do I have the glider item that I can- yeah, I can use that whenever. I just haven't been using it at all. Well, that didn't work. Well, I- okay. Maybe I can shimmy up. That also didn't work. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the shimmy in this game. Heart drops are actually kind of rare compared to previous Zelda games. Which I guess is good for difficulty, because previous Zelda games have historically not been difficult. Oh, it's a chair. I thought it was a bongo drum. I was going to pick it up and play some beats as I walk through this lava land. obvious place that I can cross. Do you have any advice for me, Mole Man? No? Okay. Well, I definitely can't make that jump. Gosh, I can't shimmy up this. That's too high. Yeah. Uh, there must be something I can do with this hole here. Do I need to, like, bowl directly into it? I'm glad that worked. I couldn't see what was in there, but it was a lucky guess. This link is uh, very mobile in small spaces. Hello. Oh, no. Why do they have such range? I need you to leave me alone a little while longer so that I can destroy you. There's a little bit of flick back you might be seeing. Can I bowl them? I thought I had to, like, get it in the top of them. I do. Okay. That's very precise for a game like this.
I saw I saw that I got it in. I was like, yeah, I did it. And I just like set down my controller, forgetting that there was a line of bombs right next to me. Okay, that one has stayed gone. All right, this one I'll bet maybe I can get from up here. Yeah. There's a lot of new enemies and creatures in this game. Like, they're not reusing a lot. Really, the only familiar things so far are the Bokoblins and uh, arguably, like, the, the Octorok. Deku scrubs, whatever, whichever those are supposed to be, if either. I keep pressing the wrong button for bowling. It's the stick. It's the same as, like, the sword. Which would mean on the... If it's the stick, that means on the... On the Wii, it would have been, like, an actual bowling motion. Literally Wii bowling. Alright, that's the heart piece. Kind of easy to access piece of hearts, pieces of hearts so far. I'm not opposed to that. What is the point of all these little huts? Are these just mole people houses, and all they have are chairs inside? I'm assuming that I can't use the glider to any significant degree. I can't, I can't like, cross this gap with gliding. I'm gonna attempt it. I'm gonna do something stupid. Yeah, it, it, it didn't work. You can only use your glider in, I guess, specific scenarios, like falling from the sky. Now, I can use it here. I guess because it's not over lava? Also, it only drops me straight down. I, I can't, like, it's not like the Deku Leaf. I'll try running. That's a neat trick. Zank. Zank the Dank. I'm sorry, did he say tackle or tickle? Okay, the red things came through the tunnel. Stay away from the plug that's holding back the lava. It'll do more than singe your brows off. Is there anything about these molemen that makes them especially, like, lava-proof? They just kind of seem like moles. Okay, here we go. Uh... I think I see what they want me to do. I don't like it. <laughs> I gotta pick a bomb and then run across. What? Well, no, I don't want a bomb, because that would risk blowing the thing up open further. I guess I should try it, because it seems like the obvious thing to do, but... It also seems like not a solution. Well, oh, here goes nothing. Nope, I cannot run with bomb. Bomb running is uh, not possible. 
I can bomb bowl. Well, I guess that okay. I thought I had to plug it. I guess that was an assumption on my part. Another very spiral looking environment, this area. Yeah, that's, that's not necessarily a jab. It's kind of like coming to a Pokemon Gen 6 after Gen 5. I, I do appreciate having, like, all the color again. It's a, that's a very, it's such a Wind Waker looking chest. see a cube. No, jump further, Link. Man. I guess I'm not getting the cube. Alright. We got, uh, mines again. Those creeps just shimmied on in and took over our territory. Looking for your friend. Can't help you there. Nobody's come through here, so... Maybe they went up the mountain from over that away. way Alright, give me a thing to plant. I, I saw the, the, the plant pole. You're gonna introduce plant mechanics. Why have any other enemies? Just bulk of blends forever. It's not quite to the degree of the Bleach game, but the combat is kind of just waggling. out? Is there like a spawner? No, they just keep coming. You, is this your fault? There we go. Alright. Now give me a seed. Magma's always honor our debts. Alright. Give me money. Alright. The digging mitts. I remember these. These were in Hyrule Warriors as like an item card. I, it didn't occur to me that they would be items in a Zelda game for some reason. Try digging in that hole. You're in for a surprise! Let's hope your friend hasn't been captured by those red guys.
Uh, how, where, where's the, what, where are they? It's just, okay, it's just a passive item. I don't have to equip them. That's nice. I like passive upgrades. A little more user-friendly. How dare you interrupt me while I'm trying to rob this house. Are these Bokoblin domains? I don't know whose houses these are. Maybe these guys were just squatting here. Okay, we got slides now. Oh, hello. A lot of this ore around. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be useful for crafting. I'm gonna make a wild assumption there. anything previously, was there? I felt like there were two ways out of this room. Yeah, there's this path over this way. Oh, there's just the way back out again, okay. Well, no bomb bag yet, so I can't progress that way. Yeah, there was one other thing here. There's the cube. That's what I'm. That's what I'm after. So far, this game is like one for one. They, they have, in every area, one very familiar item that is not at all new to the series, and then they have one new item to the series. Assuming. I'm still under the assumption that I'm going to get a bomb bag around here. So, like, uh, area one was slingshot and uh, beetle. This one will be digging nits and bombs. Where else can I go? You like mazes. It's a little flick back instance there. Rupees are the most common treasure you'll dig up, but sometimes you might even score Elden Ore or some hearts. Yeah, great. If you dig, you'll find stuff! That is useful as Phi. Oh, I can put like a curve on it.
No, stop firing, please. I don't like that one. That one's inconsistent. Oh, do I need to do it from over here? No, I, this is just an empty... This is just a hole. This is self-contained. I think I gotta beat these weird angles. I can't believe these creatures have a natural defense against bowling. Alright, there we go. There's one. Also, why do they sound like monkeys? I think sound designers just like using monkey noises. For some weird reason, for some weird reason, I hear them applied to, uh, like, flying fantasy creatures. More times than one. Actually, I think one instance of that was, like, uh, Twilight Princess. Oh, this is like the, this is like the Fire Temple Fire Maze. I don't think you're supposed to necessarily kill these guys. You're just supposed to, like, navigate. Oh, you can kill some of them, at least. This one is gonna have to go in order to get through. One of these two is. You know what's great? Bowling at awkward angles. Boy, it's the best. seeing some of these holes in, I think, the previous, uh, the previous area. It was in, like, the, the Kikwi Woods. Did people accuse this game of being, like, kiddie when it came out? I'm curious what, uh, like, reviewers were saying about it. That was a criticism of Wind Waker, mostly because of the art style, but this also... This doesn't quite have it to that cartoony degree. But I'm comparing it to things like Croc and Spiral a lot. And it also, this was the era of Nintendo trying very hard to appeal to uh, casual gamers because they found the audience with the Wii. I wonder if that was part of the impetus of making it the, uh, like, a new origin for the Zelda series. They, they thought they'd be able to get, like, uh, new people into the franchise. Like, they found a whole new audience with motion controls, with, uh, with the Wii, Wii Sports and all that. Maybe they thought that they could get, pe like, people into the Zelda series through this game in the same way they tried to get people into Pokemon via Let's Go. Hello, we have a new Mole Man. This one looks like, uh, he looks a little Marilyn Manson-y. Oh no, sorry, this is Zank again. Zank the Dank. One of your people just came through here. I'm not associated with the snake man. Well, that's not fair. 
you can just jump over this pla over this gap. Hey. Marilyn Molemanson. Oh, hello. Oh. Uh, you're not Zant. I just not not Zant. You're not Girahim. Who could that be? I didn't know there was an Impa in this game. I wonder if that this that's a costume in Skyward's in Hyrule Warriors, and I just didn't realize it. It must be. All right, there's another shortcut clear. Again, I like this. I, I like that they have like shortcuts to get through the areas all over the place. That's nice. That's convenient. That's just good game design. Okay, there's vines going down here, which means presumably... If there's not a platform there later, then this lava... What, is all this lava gonna harden? Fences. Gonna need the bomb bag for that. Fi, what do you have to say about that mysterious stranger? What is the probability of her identity? She's not even going to acknowledge the mysterious stranger. What about Hint? You want me to use my slingshot? What? What monsters would we have encountered that would... Merit the slingshot. No, we use we use bomb bowling, not the slingshot. Fi, what the fuck? <laughs> this is a very silly game. This is cartoony. It's- this is as cartoony as Wind Waker, just without the chibi-ish art style. Oh, Wicker- Wicker Sham might like this Zelda game. Wind Waker was his favorite of the ones he played. Okay. Well, I guess now we're gonna need the slingshot. Let me see if I can, uh... You know what? Now, why why would I waste slingshot ammo? I got a beetle. I'm coming for ya. Oh, no. He saw it coming. He didn't like it. Is he gonna get another rock? Yes, he is. Alright, I'll go around the back side. Oh, they can't- they planned for this. Man! I'll bet I could make that. I know they want me to slingshot. I think I can make this work, though. Oh, there's a meter. I didn't even see the meter up there. It tells you how long... What?! Oh, come on! I hit him in the back! It's gonna work. I'm telling you.
Told you. I was clearly not supposed to do that. Coming. I, I hear a guy still blowing his horn. Where is he? Oh, he's in the cave, isn't he? No? Wait, what is this? Uh... Is that is Agatha living in here? No, it's a beautiful, graceful mole man. Tubert. Thanks for stopping by. First time here, am I right? The name's Tubert. Nice to meet you. I run this little game I like to call Thrill Digger. Do you like money? How about explosions? Well, dig up some rupees before you hit a bomb in a suspenseful game of Thrill Digger. Uh, okay. This is a weird order to have the difficulties in. Is this just luck-based? Or is this, like, Minesweeper? This is just luck based. Well, I made a profit, that's nice. <laughs> that costs hearts. Can I die from that? Stream oh, did the stream go down? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I, I might have uh, I might have dropped internet for a little while. Well, I just played his little mini game, which appears to be entirely luck based. Low value rupees have only a few bad spots nearby, so you can relax a little. Okay, so it is vaguely similar to Minesweeper. It's not one for one. I don't know how, like, you can use math to do it, but... Uh... I'll bet. I can bring that tower down. That's a very conspicuous location for this structure. There it goes. I'm so smart. We got water? Why do we got water here? What do I have? Do I have anything in my bottles? I don't. I had a fairy in there. Did I use it? Got some water, I guess. If it's here, there must be a reason for it. Our stamina fruit in Breath of the Wild. Do those return? I feel like this is not really intended to be used as a weapon.
Alright, well, that makes my job easier. I'm gonna just, uh... I got this. They, they don't know how to aim, so I should be fine. So they buried it around here someplace, but I can't find it. What did they bury here? A key, I see. I could use a key. They busted up the key to that door, and it's in five pieces. That weird blonde girl got taken away. Taken away by who? Oh, the Bokoblins? <laughs> what do you think, Igneous? We sneak inside and take all the treasure we can carry! garbed figure taken deeper into the region must be Impa ten percent rounded up I was kind of hoping that Phi would call me stupid she is not programmed for such sass It's very, it's very strange that the, the robot companion would be in the Zelda game that supposedly takes place the furthest in the past. Alright, we're dousing again. Dousing for keys. Sorry if I, again, if I'm not reading every single di line of dialogue out loud. I, t I don't have enough voices for all these very similar mole men. Y'all got any bomb flowers? Or is this gonna have to wait until I have, like, regular bombs? This might need the bomb bag. things up here. This was at the this was at the other temple. This this kind of structure. All right. Off we go with Dowson. What's the how douse again? It's the up, okay.
Can I shimmy? I can shimmy. Can I go up with a bomb? I'm gonna guess that I can't. Nope. Oh, okay. I that works. Count the number of times I blow myself up this stream. Once again, gotta remember my controls. We never went down the other way that slide went. I think there were multiple slides. What is this? Is this anything? Oh, it's just a pinwheel. Okay. And this is a dead end. It's like the it's like the sword. Elden Roller. All right. I don't remember if we ever found out what the bugs were for. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Oh, there's a bomb. I don't care if I get blown up. I prefer the old ways. I don't want to have to roll my... I don't want to have to go bowling with my bombs. I like how these bats don't have to, like, go through a torch or anything. They're just naturally on fire. They just exist like that. Uh... How do I get across here? Do I need Impa for this? Sidle? Is that a thing in this game? Uh. Well, that's not how you do that. Surely he is capable of, like, hugging the wall and moving along here. He just... He just chooses not to do so. Oh, I know what it, I know what it wants me to do. The sidle mechanic is not in this game. We gotta do this instead. Thank you. 
Y'all got any fruit? I need fruit! There we go. Instant arm strength. High protein. Swing the butterfly net. He just he doesn't want to like swing it. He just kinda he only waggles it. And the waggling scares them away. Blessed butterfly. Insects are commonly found in every province. In rare cases you can find them flying in strange locations. Are they worth more if I find them in strange locations? Uh-oh. Uh... Oh. Is this a place that I need a Goron tunic for? Because I ain't got one of those. I am detecting extremely high temperatures. You will not survive this environment with your heart total. Okay. Well. I guess I'm glad you told me that, Fi. No, don't reset me up here. Reset me outside. I wish to not be in here. Somehow I just made it. Oh, where am I now? Yes, I need you. Fairy, please. Do I still have water? I do still have water. Oh, oh! I don't like the look of this. This is one of those branching things that I'm gonna have to take multiple times to get to every place that I could want to go. Uh. This looks annoying. There we go. Heart piece? Oh, that was mandatory. I had to do that for one of the keys. Alright, well, I guess we're on the left side now. Sixty-five percent lava. might notice the uh, flick back a couple times. I'll just run and then I'll stop running and suddenly be facing the other way. Unfortunately, that happened to both of my Pro Controllers, like, immediately out of the box. Like that. I miss when Nintendo knew how to make controllers. That was a nice time period. Can we go back? Drain some lava. Oh, now can I get across that? I'm gonna fall if I try to run across, aren't I? I bet I can bowl though. I know I see exactly what they want me to do. Okay. Gotta utilize the mechanic. We got a new thing, we gotta use it. They 
trying to fully utilize the motion controls. I, I guess I appreciate that. Even if I don't appreciate that they're motion controls. We're making progress. <laughs> I'm stumbling into most of these, just kind of wandering aimlessly around the area. I haven't had to douse for most of them. We just got one more to find. Alright, is this a new area? Have we been here before? There's undug spots, so I'm gonna guess that we haven't. See another exit. Uh, I can't. That's not a jump that I could make. I don't think I can go there from here. There's vines here. That doesn't seem useful to me in this situation, though. There we go. There's an updraft. That might take me back to the top of the uh, branching slide place. Where is this? This is right outside where the... This is where Impa was. I don't hate this. Honestly, I think I like these outside parts more than I like the dungeons. Well, the one dungeon that I've played so far. That dungeon kind of sucked. Alright. Uh, is this the top of the slide? It is. And I have to eat it. I have to eat like half a heart just to make it through the room to this, this, this side of the slide. So I haven't been up here, and I haven't been up the uh, other side of the... Like, I crossed over the left side halfway down the right side. There's a, there's a block here, I can use that. I guess. <laughs> These unlock new little, like, uh, locations in the sky. I got a lot of rupees doing this. This is a profitable slide. This isn't the place I wanted to go. I wanted to go to the updraft. Here it is. Alright, one more time. I don't know if this is something I need to do, but I wanna I wanna cover all routes of this slide. I don't want to go there, because that's going to go back, back to the left side. This is where I stopped. I stopped and I just I jumped up those. So I haven't gone down this way yet. And this just goes nowhere. Alright. Uh. I'm pretty sure I can't make that. I don't know what would be necessary for me to make it in the future. You know what I can do? I'm gonna be a little cheeky. 
I can scope ahead. Let's see what's in here. Nope. The beetle doesn't like to be here. The beetle does not function over lava. Alright. Well, I got four of the five. I guess I have to douse now. You gotta move so slow while you're dousing. Oh, they come back? Haven't been down there. That's a new place. I don't know why I care about these bugs. I have no reason to yet. Volcanic ladybug. All these bugs come in pairs for some reason. It's a game that no one remembers. Cubivore. I didn't play it either, but uh, I am I am aware of it. It's a very weird little kind of early spore type game. It had like QB Minecraft graphics, but you would uh, like eat creatures to change how your creature looked and like evolve into weird, different animal amalgamations. Very strange game. Speaking of strange games, I finished watching uh, Joel's old streams of uh, God Hand today. It's a very silly game. It's a very uh, it's a very Platinum Games game. Granted, it was when they were uh, it was when they st were still uh, Clover. It's uh, very similar to the type of thing that uh, Bayonetta and. Uh, Metal Gear Revengeance would be, but just, like, way schlockier. Self-aware schlocky, but still. Have I been here? I, I feel like I've been here. Yeah, because I jumped down to that platform before. I just, I just went in a circle. Maybe that, uh, I think that boulder I blew up was just a shortcut was all. This was when I first came into the area. back did I go? I guess. Maybe it wasn't a, Maybe it wasn't backtracking. Uh, how about Dowson? Where am I going? Dowson, lead me. Going back up. I say back up. I'm pretty sure I've been up here before. Yeah, because this is the guy that I got from the back with the with the beetle. And he respawned, I guess.
All right, back to dousing. the signal go? I had one. Have I gone too far? Even the music is kind of cartoony in this game. This area's music sounds more like it should be in like a, like a Paper Mario game. Okay, up there. I went way down. I wonder if it would have been faster to just, like, go to the sky and then come back down to this statue down here. It'd be nice to just be able to warp between statues, like in Majora. Hmm. Oh, that's where I haven't gone yet. I'm going to have to time this very specifically. That or else I can't, like, jump from up there, can I? This isn't close enough. Nah, it's not close enough. I don't see any other obvious way to get there except for that uh, bombable area. was more forgiving than I expected it to be. Alright, last piece. About two hours in, and we have access to the dungeon. I can't wait for Girahim to be the boss of every dungeon, not just the first one. We don't need unique Zelda bosses, we'll just fight Girahim every time. gonna get like a uh, like a tunic or something in here well so what if that wasn't it just occurred to me that there was that area in the volcano that was like super hot I guess that's just like a, a side area I guess that's not gonna be mandatory Because we're making decent progress through the dungeons, I'm kind of anticipating there will be some kind of Triforce Hunt-like quest. Where once we beat four dungeons, we'll have to, uh... 
once we beat three or four dungeons, we'll have to, like, go back to all the places we visited and scour for some bullshit. I have a sneaking suspicion that's gonna be where the bulk of this game's time comes from. Oh, there we go. Now I get a drop. I guess it's just a rare drop from the jelly-type enemies. Hello? Wait, no, come back. Are you scared of the bats? I wanted to talk. Yeah, he's scared of the bats. Okay. My partner has gone missing and those red guys are everywhere. I never should have come here. Yep, I'm looking for my friend. I saw a weird looking blonde girl get dragged away. This Link just can't get a break. I wonder how Zelda would feel about the fact that uh, she's been, like, violently kidnapped and every every now and again Link just goes back home to sleep in his room. Maybe go shopping at Beetle's weird shop. Like, yeah, he's on a quest to save her, but he can also go back home whenever he wants to. What is this? Is this like a catapult? Uh... This probably isn't the solution. I'm gonna see if I can get creative. Okay. Well, I, it kind of was the solution. I see what I'm supposed to do. I can't cut the like the chains on the bridge, but I can cut this. So why does it work over this lava, but it like broke down immediately over the lava outside? What what changed? Hello, Fi. I'm detecting new enemies ahead. They appear to be creatures of very significant physical ability. Just, uh, she felt the need to come out and remind us that she could tell us about enemies. Alright, tell me about those Alphos. Armed guard made of hand iron. Great physical prowess makes it difficult to predict its movements. It's a different take on those outposts that we've seen before. They're also way more skilled than... Wow, these are way more threatening than any previous Los Alphos have been. This dude's like dodging. Los Alphos don't dodge. Okay, what if instead I just do this? Is that gonna work? I, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I see his arm guard and I try to... I try to attack in a different direction. But he just dodges. Okay. Well, some way or another I took care of it. I think the Twilight Princess combat was more engaging, for sure. This is definitely the most difficult Zelda sword combat. For all the wrong reasons, granted. Yep, 
It would also be, again, way more wieldy if I were doing the motion controls. I, I, I'm doing this myself a little bit, but... you. Should I be worried about you? Get out of here. I'm gonna have to roll this across the lava, aren't I? I'm gonna have to do some weird barrel balancing thing. Yeah, I am. Well, in theory, I can use that to disembark in a variety of places, not just here. Sword combat in this game feels much better with the motion controls. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine. There's a blow up a bolt. Where can I go from here? I don't think I can fall off. This link's got uh, he's got good balance. I thought I would have to like worry about my balance while I was doing this. All right, what are you looking for, lead? I mean, we're connected by, like, uh, fate or something. Yep. Here's the bomb bag. I dropped it behind that rock. Alright, how do we get behind that rock? Get out of here, bats! a creature that can dig through the ground would have a much easier time getting there than I, a creature who cannot. I guess moles are not particularly good at uh, climbing ladders. There are cobalt-looking blue rupees in this game. I want the, uh, I, I don't need water. Get out of here. Fairy. Scoop. Scoop. Be scooped. Ah! Why wouldn't it scoop? Man. I think he dumped the water and then he put the bottle away immediately. Uh, is that all that was over here? Was these two holes? I, I guess I need to... Oh! Oh, did I... Okay. This is way more... Sim way simpler than I was making it out to be. Tried and true, Dodongo Lizalfos room. Oh, I barely beat one of these guys. This is this isn't gonna be fun. Like, it's not just the direction of the sword combat thing with these guys, because we did that with Gear him already, like doing the opposite direction of uh, the way he's guarding. It's the fact that they dodge everything that's like confusing me a little bit. I don't understand when they're opening this. I 
I guess I just have to, like, let them attack and make an opening. Oh. Well, I got it. I got one of their tails. That's cool. Can I use it as a weapon? Can I use the lizard tail? I want to swing it around. I want to beat this one to death using the remains of the previous Lizalfos. This is a cool looking arena. It's a shame it's only going to be used for this mini boss. bag acquired. Now do I actually like pick bomb flowers and put them inside? Sorry to put you through all that. I guess I owe you one. So uh, you want to keep my bomb bag? Oh right, you're looking for your friend. You sure have put yourself out there getting this far. That reminds me, how's my pal? Oh. Uh, I hope he's okay. You don't think those monsters have, uh... Okay, he gave us the bomb bag. That's nice of him. What a friendly moleman. He said, ah, my friend's fine. You go worry about yours. That bag's probably empty, so let me give you a little something to get you started. Oh, okay. Five bombs. <laughs> We've got a bomb flower. Press B to put it in the bag. This is a little counterintuitive, like they're already lit when I put them in the bag. Part of me was kind of hoping that once we had the bomb bag, they would work like stamina fruit, and we could just, like, uh, walk over them. That'd be nice. Oh, I... Wow, only ten bombs? That's a really limited bomb bag. I think that it started as a... I think it started with twenty in Ocarina. Can I, like, roll, roll over him? Yeah, get out of here. Uh, there's that tunnel over there. I haven't been over to that side of the area yet. Get... Lava, be gone. good at fighting these things. See, I, I swing a few times to try to get him to get his guard up, and then I'm not ready when he actually puts his guard up. Hearts? Y'all got any hearts?
Do I even have anything to spend rupees on in this game? Like, there's the equipment upgrades and things, which is cool, in theory. I just... It's not a lack of rupees that's preventing me from doing that. It's a lack of monster drops. Why... Why he no jump? Link, why you die? Why you choose death? He just walked into the lava. And, and spawn... Fucking spawn camped. All right, Liz Alphos, round two. Okay, I'll like swing twice and then he'll guard. That's the pattern. He'll dodge twice and then he'll guard. It's just like Punch Out. No, I need that heart. Heart! God damn it! Go this way this time. Y'all got a heart? No? Earth Temple. I hadn't even noticed the name of the, uh, the name of the dungeon. So we had the, the first one was called the Skyview Temple, I think? We got Skyview Temple and Earth Temple. I fear the third one will be called the Water Temple. I feel like that's the direction we're headed. Was that all that was in here, was the map? Uh, where am I? I guess that, I guess so. Alright. I knew there were areas left to explore in this room anyway. We just have to roll to them. I assume that is the... Well, no, there's not a compass anymore, is there? I think... I don't remember when it started, in Twilight Princess or in this game. They uh, consolidated the map and compass into just one item. Uh, Alright, so that's a chest. That's a chest. There's a few chests I can get. What is that? What is that? That X. Is that, like, my goal? Jump off, please. Can he not jump off here? Are there, like, certain places he can and can't jump off? There it is. Okay. No, I guess I just have to stop to do it. I gotta time this. Man, go up again. There we go. Give me heart. Want heart. No, it's gone. 
heart crushed. It's not as bad as Twilight Princess, but there's there's a lot of uh, just like junk chests in this game. There's a lot of chests with rupees and and monster drops and just other assorted like non-vital stuff in them. They're Jake chests. They're there to make you have to check them just in case they're important checks. Important chests. No, get out of here. That's a lot of things you'll have to do for a randomizer, though. I'm gonna have to have two balls, aren't I? That's gonna need to be held down. Yeah, it is. Is there another thing that I could bomb to get another ball? Is an uh, interesting idea for a dungeon. It is new for Zelda. We haven't had we haven't had uh, clown ball physics in a Zelda dungeon before. Been over here. This is where I got the bomb bag. Uh, what is this? I need to get rid of this pillar somehow. I guess I should try bombing it. No, that's not going to work. That was a bad idea. Uh... Is there anything else I can bomb now that I have bombs? Raising that will let me hit something. No. What is over there? Okay, so I'm looking at where that X is, but that X is just like a wall. Is this the part of the, is this the part of the dungeon that I get stuck at? Okay. So I can't go any further that way. Because there is just like a wall there. There's a pillar bl Fuck, lava slimes. There's a pillar blocking me from doing anything there. I, I don't... It doesn't look like I can do anything over there at all yet. But as far as I can tell, I've done everything I can do over here. not anything above me that I haven't looked at, is there? Oh, well, there's this. It's probably not there's rupees or something. Yeah, heart. What do you have to say, Fi? I'll bet it'll be super useful. X marks of the, on this map were added by the previous owner to designate locations of interest. I'll take a look. It looks like a wall. It looks like a whole lot of nothing, but, uh... If you say it's something, that I'll, I'll, I'll 
Take your word. You're always right, Fi. You're so smart. Coming for you. Get out of here. Alright, this looks like... Yeah, this is where the X is. Is it above me? Uh... I did, I, maybe I just throw a bomb at this inconspicuous part of wall. It's nice that they don't, like, start until I throw them. Yep, that was it. It's just, uh... Well, you just gotta throw something at a non-cracked wall. Never had that in a Zelda game before. I was just spot there's the X on the map. That's kind of a dead giveaway, but... It just didn't occur to me that they would have me bomb a totally inconspicuous, ordinary wall. No! Alright, more slime goodies. I guess being able to uh, pocket bomb flowers does make more sense than just finding bombs in, like, patches of grass or something. Alright, what can I do here? Are there any X's on this map? Oh, there's a path through over there. Okay. I guess. Is this another thing that I just have to, like, bomb? Where is this mysterious path? Uh, it is, in fact... I, ge I guess there is a crack. Okay. It's not as conspicuous as in other Zelda games, but there is a crack on the wall. I can't believe it. I never thought I would see Link team up with the Rock from, uh, Rock of Ages. This is gonna be the strongest tag team in Smash. They're gonna annihilate doubles. Don't suppose I can climb up here. This is probably too high. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something. Uh... What is that? That's a bird statue. Is there another crack I'm not seeing? No? I assume those spouts have to be good for something. Maybe I can make them, like spout more lava? Maybe I can bomb them? Oh, wait. Hello. You're kind of high up there, but you're conspicuous. You gotta be something. I'll bet you- I'll bet I can bomb you and you'll spout stuff. I guess. Oh, he's too high to bomb. I can't get up to that. I got the crash gun in Call of Duty. Turns out when you shoot someone, not only do you fire Wumpa Fruit, they turn into a Wumpa Fruit when they die. Okay. Interesting mechanic.
I'm just gonna start bombing shit, because I'm not sure what else to try, honestly. Oh, that didn't do nothing. That spout up there is very conspicuous, however, I cannot reach it. Is there another one that I didn't see? Yeah, that didn't work. I don't have a, a, a puzzle solution, but I have five more rupees than I did before. Uh, this gate isn't anything I can interact with, is it? Hold on. I have a thought. I didn't even see that that was the uh, the rope snapping thing up there. Oh, cancel. Very interesting architecture they have in here. It's got like the uh, Earth Temple has a has like an Asian aesthetic with the dragons and the like the shogun head. Come back here. place to put one of the statues. I don't know why I even went up to that. I just, I, I'm used to, like, having to activate bird statues from Majora. Link, run, Link! can just barely fit through there. What is this? I'm sorry. This isn't how physics work. I was with you, Zelda. I thought you were a pretty realistic down-to-earth series until I see lava falls. This is just silly. Okay, so I... I can fall off if I go too fast. Noted. I thought they made it so that you just couldn't fall off because, you know, make it easier for younger players, but, uh, no, they, that you can fall off, they just made it very, very forgiving. Alright, 
I'm on the other side. I made it. Now, I just need to I find another ball, I guess. I don't like Lizalfos. Oh, I can send the fireballs back at these guys. Well, I'm at a heart and a half, so I don't want to risk doing that. Let me just see what this is. Great. Oh, this doesn't seem like it would be a fun randomizer. Nice having more chests isn't necessarily a problem, but, uh... You know what? It's probably a, a similar amount of chests between the different Zelda games. It's just, uh... Majora and Ocarina and even Wind Waker use a lot more small keys than uh, Twilight Princess and this game do. Oh, I only need to push the button once each. Okay. I thought I had to, like, leave the ball there to hold it down. Did I do everything over there? I guess I did. Because these dungeons are more about, uh, like, moving mechanisms and dungeon-specific things than they are just, like, find, find door, open, find key, open door. <laughs> the water temple was all about find key, open door. Lots of keys, lots of doors. What is this? There's going to be things rolling rocks on me. I'm going to have to dodge rocks as I go up this. The tried and true Boulder Hill obstacle. What's in here? Dirt? It's gonna be an updraft dirt. Yeah, it is. Oh. I see what they want. Well, this is a... A little, a little complex. Oh, I have so few bombs to do this with. Alright. I'm gonna get this just right. Gotta count for timing. I did, this this has a lot more like timed bomb stuff than previous games have had, which is especially mean given given the limited bomb bag capacity. I'm managing. I haven't run out of bombs yet. I guess the uh, the limited capacity is to compensate for the fact that you can like restock them so easily. We've always really been able to restock bombs easily though. Like, yeah, you can get them from bomb flowers now, but, uh... I mean, the past you just got them from grass and crates. They were everywhere. I say it'd be nice if they just worked like stamina flowers, or stamina fruit, where you just, and now I just walked over bomb flowers and got bombs. Because, uh... Once you have bombs, bomb flowers themselves are just kind of invalidated. All 
Alright. There's another key I gotta find. I gotta do one of those 3D key puzzles. That's, uh, Resident Evil does those a, a, a fair amount in more recent games, I think. I think I, I remember seeing that a couple times in, like, Resident Evil 7. They really like their stamina slopes in this game, too. It's Shenron. I wonder if there's a finite number of these, like, uh, little yin-yang symbols. Because they don't drop from enemies, we just see them sometimes. Just, like, sitting out. Well, that worked out. Almost as if it were by design. Oh. Okay, that, that part seemed unnecessary, but it was kind of cool. Slot the dragon. Dragon, dragon. Lock the dragon. I guess the first temple had a sort of eastern aesthetic. Not quite to this degree. I'm sorry, th this area is like all lava. How is it just the inside of that one room that's like too hot for Link to survive in? Are we playing pinball now? What, what is this spine mechanism? I detect Zelda's aura in the surrounding area. There's an especially strong reaction from this chain. She was bound by it recently? Ugh. I surmise Zelda was somehow able to escape and proceed along this path. Alright, well, I'm all stocked up on bombs. I, I would kind of love for there to be, like, a pinball boss, actually. I don't know if that's quite where this is headed, but that, that would be kind of great. If suddenly Zelda became pinball. Hello, Girahim. Are you really the boss again? Seem to be at a loss for your name. Not that it matters, really. Tell you the truth, I'm feeling a bit frustrated. Right now I need someone to vent to. I'm not your friend. I heard my underlings had finally captured the spirit maiden, so of course I rushed over here. What can I say? I was excited. Flustered, even. What did I find when I arrived? That agent of the goddess! She had, once again. You see, what I'm trying to say is... That goddess-serving dog escaped with the girl! Dog? There's a dog now? He gets flustered easily. Something good can still come from this day. I've had all this bottled-up anger smoldering inside of me. Now I can release it. There's someone special I'd like you to meet. Oh, don't be shy. I need to vent all this unhealthy anger. It's, it's nice that they had mental health considerations in the, the, the millions of years ago ancient past. What a progressive millions of years ago society they had. 
Because like I said, every, every Zelda game is the precursor society of the next Zelda game. Gear him is here, but he is not himself the boss. That that's good. Fighting Gear him just four times over would be a little bit a little bit silly. Eat this. Is this is this gonna be like a tug of war thing? It's King Dodongo. I have to throw a bomb in his open mouth when the time is right. Uh, he lo he may look different, but he's he's still King Dodongo. He's gonna roll down. He's gonna open his mouth. Here I go. Oh, nothing ever really changes. Does. And there's the Majora Eye. It's back. Okay, do I, I need to bomb some more to expose the eye, though. I'm gonna run out of bombs. Music's nice. This is way better boss music than the last two Zelda games. We finally have real boss music. It took this long. Uh-oh. Nope, that wasn't enough. Okay, no, it was. Last bomb. <laughs> I'm just fighting the sun. All right, <laughs> out of bombs. That's not good. Uh-oh. Uh, did it politely give me a place to get more bombs? I can't quite tell. There's more at the top. There they are. I like how I can I can put them away again. I can cancel an already lit bomb whenever I want to. I have a criticism. This game is unrealistic. You uh, hold up a little bit. I'm still restocking. Eat up. Ah. I couldn't bowl fast enough. Get up! Blink, please! I'm dropping it at the end. Okay, here, here we go. He's still not done. Yeah, rolling down now. This is an interesting, boss. I don't dislike it. It's it's ultimately got the King Dodongo thing going on, but it's a much more interesting way of doing it. I have done it. I have defeated the creature from Monster Rancher. What an ugly looking mascot that series had. The, the the yellow thing with the one giant eye. That was not a that was not a cute creature. That was not a Pikachu.
I've seen gameplay of that game too. It's e it's even like less appealing in game. I'm kind of surprised that series got a fan base. I wouldn't get a huge fan base. It wasn't a blowout like Pokemon or Digimon, but enough people were aware of it. Do a quick restock while uh, Zelda is uh, being dragged away to the next dungeon or whatever's going on. Maybe she's right outside. Maybe I'm going to step out this door and like walk in on her in the bath in a wacky, comical hijinks misunderstanding. That would feel right at home in, the, in this game. What anime is this game most like? I want to say like Inuyasha. It's not, like, offensively tropey to a degree of, like, Ranma. And it also, like, has a plot. Also, wow, Impa's tall. Look at her, she's, she's like a stick bug. She's like a One Piece character. I, I could pick her up around the waist with one hand. You cannot go to him, your grace. Remember what we discussed. Restrain yourself. I... What? No. No, we're buddies. We're friends. What, are you gonna turn into a nun? I don't like this trope. I've seen this trope in some, uh, some not good series. This I'm on my own adventure. I can't tell you any details. I'm sorry. We can't be together. <laughs> Sailor Moon did this and it was probably the most like stupid and frustrating season of Sailor Moon. <laughs> Took you far too long to get here. You fucking suck. Get good, scrub. That, that's about what she said. That's a good estimation. If I had not come when I did, your Zelda would have already fallen into the hands of the enemy. Yeah, well, I guess that's true. Look, there was a little girl who went missing, and that was also important, okay? I had to spend a little bit of time at that at the, on the, at the start of the stream. If you wish to be of help to her grace, you must summon a shred of cur Fuck you, a shred of courage! I saved a child today! I don't like this Impa, she's mean. Why are the hot ones always mean? Okay, no more time for side quests, I guess. I hope she at least had a nice bath here. Hope she's enjoying her bath quest. Well, I'm dying in lava repeatedly. Shred of courage. Come on! Also, no matter what Zelda game we're talking about, or where it takes place in the high in the timeline, the Sheikah are always like an ancient and extinct tribe. Alright, do your dance, Pearl. Spirit Maiden who descended from the clouds has passed through the Earth Spring and makes her way to a fated place.
parched desert of Laneru. Okay. So we were in a volcano, now we're going to the desert. Gate of time into a distant world. We don't usually do that. We don't usually go from, like, hot place to hot place. It's the complete opposite of the water temple I was expecting. <laughs> then again, maybe I'm speaking too soon. Maybe we're gonna go to, like, an oasis in the desert, and under there is gonna, is gonna be a bunch of Zoras, like, Hello! Welcome to the water temple! Well, we made way better time on that than we did the first stream. There's just no impressing Impa, no matter what we do. I guess we should, uh... What are you guys still doing here? Did, did no one tell them that the Girahim left? Alright, well... Yes, they're not hurting anyone. Is there anything else we need to do here? Or can I just, like, leave? I got the tablet, so I guess I'll just leave. There's not, like, a mole men leader I have to meet. Now comes my least favorite part of the game, the desert. Yeah, deserts usually aren't fun in video games. I have a, ver I have a hard time thinking of, like, good deserts. You could argue like the uh, like desert uh, sand levels or uh, like uh, sandboarding. Maybe you like that in Sonic Adventure or Tack. Yeah. Actually, no, I take that back. That was the part of Tack that like got me stuck on the game. I never got past the. Uh, I never got past the part of Tack One where you have to collect a bunch of the uh, the spheres because I could never get enough of them on the desert sandboarding level. I must have gotten, like, every other one in the game, and I still didn't have enough to advance the plot. Well, I finished this quickly, but I'm I'm still gonna I'm gonna keep going because I am planning to do like five hours a day. Oh, there are only three tablets. Okay, we're already on like the third area. So our surface areas are four are like forest, volcano, and uh, desert. Until whatever that big area in the corner opens up. I'm sure that'll be the fourth temple. It's gonna be like a it's gonna be like a sky temple. That that's why the cloud needs to be like a, a big protrusion up here. All right, what have we gotten? With the only new items we got, there's just bombs, isn't it? We get two new things. Okay, it was bombs and the digging mitts. Which don't seem like they're going to add any new... Uh, they're, they're not going to let us like do anything particularly new here in Skyloft. You know what? Just to spite Impa, I'm now going to take even longer before getting to the next temple. You should go and let Kukiel's mother know. I'm sure she's at their house near the water's edge. Oh. Fledge is so helpful. I, he told me exactly where to go and I just ignored him.
This seems dangerous. Don't go, don't go swimming here. You'll have a bad time if you uh, swim out a little too far. Wait, hold on. It just occurred. Okay. This is magic. There's a magic spring summoning water from nowhere up on that island because the water is continuously falling off of the island. Ah, don't think about it too much. It's magic. What is this? There's a random bird statue? House on the water's edge. Still can't go down there, because we don't have iron boots or whatever we need to go down there. What else did Beetle have? Beetle had an item for 800 rupees, which our current maximum wallet capacity is 600. What is this? Is this a shed? Can we open this? I want to see what's in the tool shed. I bet it's a cool shed. Kitty. Oh, aren't you just adorable? Unfortunately, I don't forget. You attacked me in the night. Dumb cat. Is this her house? This is an interesting place. I, I like Skyloft as like a hub area, or as like a, a town. It's an interesting town. Are you the mother of the turnip child? You should be ashamed of what you've brought into this world. No, Pippet is like the upperclassman, isn't he? House on the water's edge. Well, it doesn't get edgier than this. I don't know where this woman lives. Also, I assume I get the things that that, like, Bat Dude was talking about from completing side quests here in Skyloft. The, uh, gratification crystals. It's a cool-looking town. It's not a very navigable town. House on the water's edge. Here we go. Hey, you made it back. You didn't mean- I don't- I don't need to come here and tell her. Uncle Bats told me he wants to see all the grab- grab -tude crackles he can. How's he gonna do that? Hello. You can express your gratitude in the form of a crystal that I will now remove from your body. It's like a sacred jewel, but uh, way less useful. I need five of them. Oh wait, was that five already? Where's Daddy? I wonder who the father here is. Alright, well now that I did that, uh... Graveyard. That's how I got down to the... I'll learn. I'll, I'll eventually remember, like, the layout of this place, and I'll know where, where I need to go and when. It's more complicated than, like, Kakariko Village was, but, uh, it's small. It's not that big.
The door's wide open now. How has no one else found this place? Alright, hello. I got your crystals, Mr. Batman. Oh, great! Wait, up to 500 rupees. Uh, that's, okay, that's bizarre. So, there's wallet upgrades, and then whatever beetle sells you just adds 300 capacity to whatever your wallet is. Why couldn't he just sell you a wallet increase? It's such a bizarre way of doing it. Well, so now my maximum is 800, so I can afford the thing that he's selling. When I have a full wallet. You'd think that Link could just, like, bring a full wallet, I don't know, to his room? Maybe put some rupees in a chest? You'd say, hey, Beetle, I've, I've got, an, I've got like, this much saved. Just let me take two trips, and I can pay for this. And Beetle's like, fuck you, I'm not letting you, I'm not letting you board this shop twice. And that's why he needs to carry it all at once. Well, I guess that's settled. I will presumably need to find other, like, gratitude crystals to help that guy turn into a human. Still a very questionable goal. Kind of a thing in Inuyasha as well. Whereas, like, there's commentary about racism and him being judged for being half-demon, but then... It's also introduced as, like, a goal of his to become fully human. Which seems contradictory to the idea that, no, you, you shouldn't need to feel judged for being half-demon. That's okay. You just, you be you, Inuyasha. I feel sorry for Batro. Well, I don't really feel like doing- I'm sorry, who is this? Is this just other knights? I thought they were enemies for a second. No, they're just- they're just saying hi. I don't really feel like doing, uh, bar hopping minigames, so... I'll just go straight to the desert. We'll get started on that. What does the sky map currently look like? There are assorted little islands scattered about from the, uh, the blocks that we found. I only just got part one on YouTube before I started streaming this today. These five-hour videos take a lot of time to process. Well, this looks less deserty than I was anticipating. I can see plant life on the screen. Um, it's not a desert, it's a mine. This arid region was transformed into a desert over the course of several hundred years. Do I have to go through a mine just to reach the desert? My projection showed that Zelda must have traveled through this area. see a treasure chest. I want the shiny. How do I get to it? It's up on like a like a cliff. Can I jump from here? No, he he didn't want to jump. All right, fine.
is a you spend a lot of time in the game here. I'm picturing like the I'm getting flashbacks of like scouring the desert in Ratchet and Clank for all the pink crystals. Well, that kind of gives it away. We're going to be getting the hook shot here. I wonder what item number two will be. It will be the hook shot, and it will be one new item. There's just a decorative eye. I can't, like, uh, hit that. Can I? Yeah, it's just decorative. Oh boy, we doing mine carts. Leave me alone, bass. I'm not bothering you. I'm about to bother you. I thought we were gonna do like a mine track section like in Donkey Kong, but no, we're just we're just pushing it. Hello. Uh, I'm trying to like time it so that I I do the I do the shield first and then sword, but I'm not, uh, I'm not getting it right. I'm having the worst timing on these things. There's going to be a lot of these things, aren't there? I can tell these are going to be annoying. Camera. I just want a dedicated camera stick. That would be just lovely. Also, pushing things takes stamina, because everything takes stamina in this game. It's gonna be hookshot related. Oh, hello. We got robots? My estimates indicate that this object has been broken for many years. I'm unable to analyze the content of its speech at this time. Well, I'm, I hope it's sturdy, because I need to bomb this spot in order to destroy two rocks and save a bomb. That's okay. It is sturdy. This is a good idea. Looks like it will make the minecarts much easier and faster. What are these what are these little Mario Odyssey creatures? Where did you come from? Zzz. We're here collecting time shift stones and transporting them to the Nehru mining facility. Stay away from the blue stones, they're too dangerous for humans. 
Are they gonna send me through time? Am I gonna meet other links? Any impact to the blue stones creates a sustained temporal disruption. Oh, okay. Readings show this area is in a past time state. So we can create time bubbles and meet the precursors, or at least the robots made by said precursors. That's something that you can just say and then not elaborate upon. We're mining time rocks. Don't think about it too much. I can't believe the Bulk of Bloods would be attacking time robots. This is definitely new for a Zelda... Uh, for a Zelda game. It feels like very out of place for a Zelda game, but I, it hasn't been done before. This is the closest we're gonna get to Jack's, like, uh, cyberpunk Zelda series. It's just Link traveling through uh, future tech zones. What is this? An ancient flower. Okay. I'll just carry that around with me. I'm sure it'll be fine when it leaves the time bubble. made a time bubble and destroyed that in the past, then logically it should have already been in this state when we saw it in the future. I'm just saying. Uh, nope, I can't walk in this. I, don't, I thought it would be a little more forgiving like in Twilight Princess. It isn't. Always exactly the wrong timing. What are we doing now? I d can't throw that far. What do you have to say, little friends? Anything? You should take a tour of Lanayru Mining Facility. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm stuck. Can you help- can you help me get through the- the mining facility? Okay, maybe I just need to run. Yeah, I just needed to run. I just wanted me to use my stamina stuff. One rupee. What else is in there? There's other stuff. Are those Sheikah symbols? No, they're not. 
these robots look very out of place in, in Zelda. Not just because they're robots, just their general design. I mentioned they look a lot more like Mario characters than they, they do Zelda characters. Oh, hello. Uh, what are you? It's a Lanayru ant. They store water deep in their nests, allowing them to thrive even in the intense heat of the open desert. Always pairs. Alright, nothing over there. There's five rupees over there. I do have a use for rupees, I guess. That's nice. Just saving up for an 800 rupee purchase, granted, but... The magic armor in Twilight Princess was a cool idea to try to, like, make rupees useful. I think they were a little too stingy with it for it to be useful, though how it worked was that uh, as long as you were wearing it, it would slowly drain your rupee count. And while you were wearing it, if you took damage, it would uh, subtract the damage from your rupees instead of from your health. I think that alone was fine. I, I don't think it needed to, like, be decreasing your rupees at all times you were wearing it, in addition to that. Especially since it was, like, a very expensive, optional purchase. Uh, I can't get that from here. It looks like there's another path leading to that. I need some time stone stuff here. Well, it's a nice, it's a good thing that there are bomb flowers growing everywhere, because uh, if there weren't, I would run out of bombs so fast, I can only carry ten of them. feels like a Pokemon cave. I don't know why it does. There's also apparently a number of, like, uh, caves and little and grottos and things in Twilight Princess that we just never saw. Plays with little puzzles and heart pieces in them, things like that. I think Vinny actually did get all of the heart pieces in his playthrough. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought there were, like, way more than there were. There's only, like, uh, two rows of hearts in that game. I think it was, like, 20 total or something. Maybe even less. Maybe it was, like, like 16... That opens that. I can't get up there, though, so that doesn't help me. Wait. 
idea. Get to good Tensho. Nope. Flick back. What? Link, stop targeting the bomb. He's determined. He is determined to blow himself up. All right, I'm going to like use Z to make sure I'm facing the right way. No, it does not go far enough. Okay, that is not the solution to the puzzle. Other idea. Okay, I, th I thought, like, my sword needed to hit it. Hello? Present for you. Dragonflies here. A Gerudo dragonfly. I'm gonna get two of everything. I'm gonna be the Noah of bugs. That really just kills it. It doesn't drop and need to be fought like the uh, Majora ones. So now that I got this treasure chest in the past, it should have been already been opened and empty when I first saw it in the future. Just saying. bring it into the past. <laughs> it's definitely a creative mechanic. This game does suffer from some, uh, some, like, game design flaws, but in terms of the ideas present, there's a lot of originality. I can say that for it. I can appreciate the novelty. This feels, like, similar to Mario Odyssey in a lot of ways. Just, like, the world design. My readings indicate that Zelda has passed through here. As previously stated, this area is highly dangerous. I suggest reuniting with her quickly to determine the motivations behind her actions at Elden Province. Yeah, we gotta talk about that. I got some words for her. All right, well, we have uh, uh, reached the desert. That's if Impa fucking lets us. She, she's like a... She's like an overprotective father figure, this Impa.
Remember when Impa was like an old lady? I guess she what she went back to being an old lady in Twilight Princess, actually. She kind of just bounces between the two. Like the young mysterious servant and the uh, old lady Impa. Her first appearance as a character, if I remember correctly, was Zelda 2. In which she was like the, the, the impetus of the plot. Like she told Link about Zelda's uh, spell or whatever was going on. I don't remember if she was in Link to the Past. And then we got the young attendant Impa, and then in Twilight Princess, she was the... Impaz was the old lady who, uh, like, lived in the village alone in, in old Kikariko and uh, rescued Ilya. What's this? A roulette? We gambling? People look down in video games. No one looks up in video games. I got a goddess plume. Rumors say this item was dropped by the goddess in a long forgotten era. Oh, okay. Is, is it hers? Does she grow feathers? I'm gonna give the agnostic response and suggest that maybe it's actually just like a bird that dropped it. It's a possibility, I'm just saying. There's cacti here. Can I cut the cacti? I cannot. In fact, the cacti are dangerous. That's gonna smack me. Hello! No, please! Why is everything here electric? I guess they want... It, it mentioned that the, the metal shield doesn't protect you from electric things. I guess they wanted to give you a reason to keep using the wooden shield at times. You know what Link needs? He needs like a, he needs like a car door. Just to hold in front of him. Actually, you know what? I don't know that. I don't know if modern car doors conduct electricity. They're not metal. They're like some kind of synthetic metal plastic material. Rubber. He needs a rubber shield. We need the Luffy shield. I Hero Academia had one of the uh, outros do a thing where uh, the whole series was reimagined in like a in like a fantasy setting. I can't picture that with Luffy. I can't picture him running around as like a knight with a sword and shield. That's a little too weird for me. They had like uh, filler arcs in One Piece, filler episodes that reimagined everything in like uh, old Japan. Which was itself already very strange. Those those were my least favorite, like, filler episodes of One Piece. I always hated when those happened. Okay, we got bombs that I can't reach. I'll have to uh, do those from above, maybe. I like how he just... This Link just likes to scurry up things. He's good at that. I got a tumbleweed. No, no, it won't come in handy, Link. That's just, that's hoarding. That's being a kleptomaniac. You don't need to bring the tumbleweed with you. It uses material to upgrade a variety of items. But why? Okay. It's a little weird. I'll take your word for it. Uh, 
Where can I go from here? It looks like I'll need, like, uh, some time stone something or other to get to some of these sand places. Uh, I can push this, it looks like. What are you? Are you just, you're just a skeleton. That's cool. No, maybe I can't push it. Okay, I, I need this to be, like, in the past for that to move. Uh, hmm. rock up there. Maybe that's got a time stone in it. I've just accepted the phrase time stone as if that's a normal thing to talk about. Is that a gate over there? This is, does appear to be a very big area. It's got, like, uh, more walled-off spots than I was expecting. Usually deserts are, like, big and flat and open. Boy, I'll bet it would be helpful to getting through here if I could read that text. Unfortunately, Link is not only mute, he is also illiterate. Have I been up here? I think I have. Can he even get up there? Can he grab this ledge? He cannot. There's, it's slightly sloped. Uh, it's the second time in recent memory I've been defeated by a slight slope. Last time was Jabu Jabu. Can I, like, can I bring this time stone with me? To, like, mine it up, maybe? I think it'd be very helpful to just, like, carry it around on my person. Oh, the music changes a little bit when you're, uh, in the past versus the present. Okay, so I have been up there. That was where the, the plume was. I already dug these up. Would the bug help me? Maybe there's a switch on the other side of that gate. Maybe I can use the beetle here. I actually meant to put that away. I was gonna get that tumbleweed. Oh well. This is nice just for, like, scoping things out, even. Ah? Huh? No? Bugs cannot pull levers. Maybe this is like an endpoint, because there's a, there's a bird statue just across here. If I could find a time stone anywhere, I could hit it with a bug. And that would alleviate a lot of this. Nope. Leave me alone, please. Time stone? Are you around here? I see birds. I see
see an electric creature. I don't see any time stones. There's also a hole in the top of the thing. Oh, I gotta use the hole. Maybe. Assuming I can jump across these. Oh, can I? Maybe I don't need to jump across. I just need a basket. Roll in. Yeah! There's a recent arc in One Piece that involves Luffy using a sword. Is it Wano? Because I, I know Wano is like the Japan samurai place. There we go. That took longer than it needed to. Wait, how did you guys get here? You lived here in the ancient past. Well... What if you, like, come out the bubble? Do you just, like, die? He can't. He physically cannot leave the bubble. Why- how did you have, like, electric- I guess that- that's fine. They're robots, so of course he has electric stuff. This would be a lot easier if there was just one of them. Unfortunately, I have to fight two at the same time. There we go. Didn't know you were aware of it yet. It's impossible to avoid at least, like, the very most basic stuff about One Piece arcs. Yeah, we are still in Dress Rosa. We have not watched One Piece in a while because we are, uh... Jack and I watched it very slowly. And we've been focusing on a lot of, uh, trying to get through Bleach so that we can watch the, the new series. If you hadn't come along, they would have sucked all of the electricity out of me! Oh, look at that, you have a beetle! Appears to be an older model of Lanayru fabrication. I have an old model? How long has that beetle been in there? I will upgrade it. Oh, oh okay. I, I'm gonna get a super beetle? I've added a pincer modification so you can grab things. Interesting. I now have a retriever. I know what they want me to do with this. I know after dress I I don't remember I don't remember like exact orders and I don't know any like plot details but you got it's kind of hard to avoid at least like knowing the like the villains and the names of arcs at least I know there's like uh, there's a whole cake or something coming up which is where like Big Mom and her crew are at which we've seen like little bits of like, before even Dressrosa. And I know Wano is, af is at some point after that, it involves, like, the... Was it Kaizo? Is that his name? Like, the, the world's strongest dude or something along those lines? Kaido, I think. Kind of like if he was called Kaizo. Surely there's an anime character called Kaizo and something. 
Their power being that they're really, really good at video games. I think we're kind of focusing on, on Bleach. We're on the we're on the Fullbringer arc, so we're nearing the end of it. And we'll be watching the uh, the Vandenreich. Trying to catch Jack up on my hero since uh, we're behind on that. And I enjoy I enjoy it a lot. One Piece is still on our list, but it it's it's such a slow series. Even if we marathon it, I, f I feel like it's going to be slow progress. Okay, so is that is that our two items? It's just an upgraded beetle and a and the hook shot. What else can I do from here? What a this is okay. This is a very tiny bubble. This is not as helpful as I was hoping it would be. Uh. Oh, that's right, I can run across the sand. I forgot about that. Oh, no. Okay, there's an electric desert. A little bit of a... That's another very eclectic setting for this game. Go. Oh, I missed it. I wanted to get the tumbleweed. I'll bet there are people who just, like, spent a long time in this desert gr grinding tumbleweeds for materials. Electric desert with time shifting mechanics. You see why I compare this game to Mario Odyssey? Because it, it's full of just, like, weird eclectic settings like that. Like, they did Zelda really down to earth, and they're like, okay, we've had our fill of that. We want to get weird again. We're going to get real weird with the next Zelda game. What is that? Is that that's one of the yin yang things? I would like to get rid of this guy, but I don't know how to, like, get rid of him reliably. I can try it. I, my best, like, ranged weapon is the slingshot. I'm gonna die. This guy's gonna kill me. And that just stuns him. This is a really... We're getting really far in this game without having a bow. I wonder if there's even a bow in this game. That'd be kind of crazy, a Zelda game without a bow in it? I'm gonna die. Where'd this bird go? There's the bird. Be gone, bird. Oh, wait, no, I, I wanted yet. Nah. I don't know why I even want them. I have no idea what they're useful for. Uh, can I make it across that? I don't know if I can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me scope out. Ah! What did I get? The bird killed me! I'm- I'm actually dying. That's never happened in a Zelda game before. I- I will praise this game actually having a little bit of difficulty.
I'm gonna lose my wood shield soon. This thing is about to break. Yep, there it goes. Oh, it didn't even block it. I'm now I am getting groin sawed. Oh, I can go up there to where the... I can get that dirt patch up there. I don't know if that's going to be useful for anything. Doesn't look like it'll help me progress at all. I, I, so I really have no means of, like, killing this electric fish thing. And they're going to, like, give me an alcove where I have to stand and wait and recharge while it's firing shots at me. It's just a useless dirt patch. Hold on. I don't know why I didn't try that. Uh, can I get over there at all? You know what? I'm gonna do one better even. I've got- I've unlocked a suicide bomber. I'm not even on a time limit because the bombs don't, uh, start until they make impact. That's right, we hunting now. Uh, let me get rid of the snail. I'm gonna get rid of every threat to my health in this desert. Nail down. There's still some birds I don't like around here. Oh, maybe I can stand on the snail shell? That'd be kind of goofy if that's intended. No! Oh, the shell, snail shell went away. That's not the solution. Hello, flying dingoes. That would have been creative. I guess it was a little bit too creative. Can I just scurry? I can't just scurry up this, can I? No, oh, that'd be too easy. It looks so close. Uh... Oh, I couldn't do it because I was holding the camera button. That's what was going on. So what can I do now? I'm assuming this little beetle is not strong enough to push a minecart. That'd be silly if it could do that. I'm gonna guess this also won't work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. How far are you into this playthrough? Well, apparently, I'm told there are four dungeons. Uh, we've now completed two of them and are in the third area. There were like three MacGuffins we had to collect. We, we collected all three of them, and now we're in the third dungeon area. I don't know what comes after that. Supposedly, this is like the longest... Th this game is even longer than Twilight Princess was. So I'm curious how they'll pad it out outside of the dungeons. I'm expecting some kind of Wind Waker-like Triforce Hunt sort of quest. This thing goes far now. Uh... 
Uh, maybe I shouldn't be looking over here yet. I don't know where else I can go, though. This just looks like a sea of sand over here. I have no way to get over this stupid wall. Unless... The beetle has the power to grab things now. Does that include, uh... Does that include levers? It does not. That was not the solution. Okay. I have a dumb idea. I have a dumb, unintended idea. Come here, beetle. Come here, snail. I want you... to come near this wall. Come on. A little closer. Come here. Nice, juicy link meat. Yeah, fall that way. Climb up. Get on top of the shell. Come on, Link. Oh, it worked. Ah! Okay, that was optimistic. And also obviously unintended. I, I was attempting to cheese the game. What is this, uh... What is this path? I can't move this. No. I don't know why this would be... This particular crate would be, like, on a line if I couldn't do anything with that fact. It looks like I should be able to move it. What do you have to say, little robot? I love having to stop and wait every few seconds because I'm out of stamina. It's a wonderful feature. It seems pretty clear we need the hookshot to get up on top of this. I can't see anywhere else I could conceivably go except in this direction. And I can't figure out what it wants me to do to proceed in this direction. Maybe I was right about the snail shell and I just didn't do it well enough. Maybe I just need to try it again. I know, definition of insanity and all that, but uh, that's kind of bullshit. A lot of the times you can do things multiple times and get different results. I think that is the solution. I just, I needed to wait on the shell to get stamina back a little longer. There we go. That is creative. I guess. This feels more like a Mario solution than a Zelda solution.
I don't know why I'm even going for these. I haven't visited any of them. What's in here? Rupees, is that it? Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Nope. I didn't start running quick enough. Stamina fruit. I need that. So it doesn't uh, seem to be any way to, uh, like, permanently upgrade your stamina thus far. Which I guess makes sense because, uh, like, all of these areas are timed such that you have just enough stamina to make it. This goes to a cart that will be a shortcut, so I want to get this. So far, my overall opinion of this game is not a bad game, doesn't feel like a Zelda game. I'm curious how uh, how I'll feel about Breath of the Wild after this, because that also supposedly doesn't really feel like a Zelda game. But people like that one, so we'll see. We're doing more of this. Oh, it's moving. Oh, I don't like this. Get up! This is a weird area, in many ways. Also, sand doesn't flow like that. Once again, I have problems with this game's level of realism. It's almost non-existent. in the sand. I don't like that thing being there. Let's get rid of that thing. You. Uh, is there anything over there that I want? There's the dirt patches that look like they'll they might be, like, uh... They might be, uh, wind things up. But this is a little more conspicuous. Let's go here first. Oh. Okay, of course, this is the Temple of Time, I see. It looks just like I remember it. What do you mean, Temple of Time?
That doesn't appear to go anywhere yet. I think I need more time stones to make use of that. I like how the future versions, like, they can tell, uh, sorry, the past versions can tell not to leave the bubble. This music reminds me a lot of uh, Maple Story Pyrion, which is the, like, the Badlands area of that game. Oh, I can only have one time. I forgot, I can only have one time bubble at a time. Okay, that's gonna make this more tedious. the time bubbles to intersect, then you'd go to the super pass. Oh, there's not a cart here. I don't even know that this is the way I'm supposed to be going. I'm just assuming. stone inside here? No. That's not the correct place to go. There's a bomb here. That's conspicuous. There we go. Kind of looks like a Woodfall Temple, a little bit. You know what this looks like? This looks like one of my roller coaster factory levels. Wait, no, let me out! I'm gonna guess I can't just walk across this, because that would be too easy. Nope! Why not? Oh! Link can walk across, uh... He can walk across tight ropes. He cannot walk across a thin piece of metal. Cool. <laughs> I wanted to do that. Actually, I didn't need a bomb. I could just, like, uh... I can just cut this thing. That's alright. That got both of them. my sword around in transit. Just a thought occurred to me. There's bombs growing on top of some of these. Are the fruit on the other ones? Are those like desirables? Do I want those? No. I thought maybe I could collect one and bring it back to me and it'd be like a... like a drop item. Come here, Mr. Octorok. It's basically a Nikita missile. I now have the I now have the the Nikita missile in my inventory as long as there's bomb flowers nearby. Oh, hello Mr. Goron, you're here too. Is there 
Anything else of interest before I talk to the Goron? There's these things. There's bombables I see up here. There's another time stone. Alright. I assume Mr. Goron is gonna tell me I can't figure out the way in. We'll have to solve a puzzle. Good luck. Yeah. Something I'm dying to tell you. It's the discovery of the century. This is a sacred place known as the Temple of Time. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw a human who lives on the legendary Isle of the Goddess. It were clo- It? Came with another person, they entered the temple. I wanted to chase after them, but there was an explosion. Man. So not only does Impa think that we're, like, a shitty hero, she actively, like, destroyed the temple entrance so that we could not follow them. Oh, you think Girahim did it? No, that's Impa. This, this screams Impa's doing. With a capital B. Man. Well, I don't have my, uh... I don't, I don't have my wooden shield anymore. I, I'm not gonna, like, go back to Skyloft to get another one. I guess I'll just have to do this. Yeah, that works. Okay. <laughs> it turned into bones when it left the time bubble. Oh, that's pretty good. Hello, Mr. Robot. This is the Temple of Time. Within it is the sacred gate of time made by the goddess. It's, it's weird to hear robots talking about a goddess. This is a strange combination of things. The Ney Remining Facility and the Temple of Time are connected underground. The Ney Remining Facility is right here. This map looks inaccurate. Okay, now, now we have a past map. The map you possess corresponds to the actual terrain of this area with only 35% accuracy. Thanks. I, I had figured that out. Is this gonna make like a track that goes up? Is it going to go through? Yeah, it's going to go up. Wait, wait, no, go back. I want that flower. There was a pretty flower there. I have no control over the minecart, by the way. I just get in and it moves automatically. I can spin inside. That's pretty cool. That's the extent of my... Con and then he gets out automatically at the end. I also cannot hop out midway. Which makes getting that particular... Uh, that particular stone much more difficult. I don't know how I'm going to get that. Uh, is this, does this go to the mining facility? Is that what this door is? This goes back to the desert. This isn't the place that I came in from, though. This is a different entrance. There's a time stone that will let me get this across here. 
Which seems like it would be good, but I don't know that I want to go across there yet, because then I'd, I'd be stuck. Get rid of that bird, because I don't like that bird existing. I'll show it exactly what I think of its existence. There we go. Much better. Uh oh. What what happened? Cutscene? Fight! This is not the time. I can confirm you will not be confirmed consumed by the sink sand in this current position. There is a submerged path beneath the sink sand. Possible to walk along a route above this path without submerging completely. Okay. That's uh, useful, I guess. Uh, I can place multiple beacons? I can do that? Alright. That's uh, good to know. I kind of want to... What, what is that thing over here? Is that just grass? That's no, just grass. Alright. Uh... Hmm. Well, so where do I want to go then? Do I want to go over here? That just kind of looks like a dead end. I can't tell if this quite, like, goes anywhere or not. Whole lot of nothing. There's some dragonflies. That's, uh, that's about it. Are these Gerudo dragonflies? Yeah, I think they are. Thankfully, I can kind of figure the path just, like, going point to point. Uh, that's a point of interest, so I guess I should go there. The bird came back. I didn't give permission to come back. What is this? Uh... Well, it's something. It's a point of interest, but, uh, Link doesn't really want to, like, examine it, so. Probably need, like, a time stone or something. Oh, those piles of bones are going to become Bokoblins once I do this, aren't they? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, like, go get another wooden shield. <laughs> <laughs> when I find a bird statue, because this is going to get annoying. Fighting these electric enemies without access to one. Nope, go down, please. He, he defends no matter what I do. Oh, you can hit the thing again to deactivate it. I sent him back and forward through time twice. In the midst of his perishing. This is a power generator for the mechanism that opens the entrance to the Nehru Mining Facility. Won't budge until you activate the remote power nodes and set those three dials to access them correctly. Is it, we're trying to, like, teach Link how to connect to, like, at wireless access points. Alright, here's the dousing part. We knew it was coming. I'm getting real low on supplies. They're stingy with the supplies in this game. Colt only carry a small handful of bombs, can only carry a very limited number of, uh, of slingshot pellets. Okay, what statue is this? This is North Desert. Let's go, let's go restock. Let's get a shield at least. Yeah. 
Again, would be lovely to just be able to warp back to Skyloft. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work like that. Got plenty of rupees. We haven't gotten another empty bottle yet. That's, I guess that makes sense because we haven't been doing uh, additional side quests. Probably get one if I did more like... Uh, if I like, did more stuff at the, at the bar. What do you have to say? You got a quest for me? <laughs> Today I was able to procure a fine small bomb bag. Okay. Cool. Size update increase. What's this? Small seed satchel. Yes! I need both of these things. I'll bet these might these probably refills too. Uh how many can I buy? Couch is full. Oh. Oh, this is like... This comes down to pouch management? That's stupid. I don't like that. Oh, I gotta go store stuff. Fine. Where, where's the storage person? Hello? Hi. I came by twice. Is that a lot for you? I don't suppose you don't come here just to see me, do you? Yes. Mm. That might be kind of nice. I almost forgot. I still have a job to do. You want something? Uh. uh I don't think I have room for these seed satchels I just bought. Am I going to get a bigger pouch eventually? I guess I can store the metal... Sh yeah, I'll eventually have eight spots. I guess I'll store the, the metal shield for now. I'll carry one shield. I'll carry a... I'll carry a bomb upgrade and I'll carry a seed upgrade. I need a wooden shield. They break so fast. And bombs. I'd consider doing side quest stuff off stream, except, like, I'm streaming this five hours a day. I don't know if I want to play it more off stream necessarily. Uh, no, not you, actually. Sorry. Uh, who am I going to talk to? I want to talk to the smithy guy. Yeah. I want a better shield. Who would bother to, to like, fix a basic wooden shield? Uh, okay, so I have all of this stuff. That seems like a good deal. I, w I hope I can upgrade it and have it be permanent. I don't think that'll happen, though. I think it'll probably always break. It'd be great to just be able to upgrade to an unbreaking wooden shield. Much more durable. Best. Oh, I need another tumbleweed. If I'd caught like one more tumbleweed, I'd be able to have that. I need a tumbleweed for a better, uh, better bug net. I can upgrade the beetle. 
with hornet larva. Uh, okay, ho hold on. What do I need for the shield? Amber relic, monster claw, ornamental skull. I need three. I only need one, one skull for the shield. So I can afford to upgrade my bombs. Okay, everybody! <laughs> I'm tempted to go back just to get one more tumbleweed and then come back here. Ah, uh, if I had one more monster claw. Although, no, I need the monster claw for the shield, so that's not, uh... The seed upgrade isn't happening. That's all right, though. I don't use the I don't use the slingshot too much. Most cases, I can avoid using the slingshot just because I have the beetle. Hello, Pero. Are you the father? Is the little girl gone again? No. Well, I want to hear about my troubles. Short while ago, my little sister went out for a quick flight, but she hasn't come home yet. It's getting late, so I went out looking for her, but I couldn't find her. I hope nothing has happened. No. She said she was curious about that colorful island that appeared recently, so I suspect she's somewhere in the southwestern sky. Okay. The format for side quests in this game is a lot more like an RPG than it is in other Zelda games. Not that that's necessarily a problem. This feels like the second most RPG Zelda after maybe Zelda 2. Uh, I take it this is the colorful one, but it doesn't look like I have that as the... Doesn't look like I have the stone for that. Unless I don't need a stone for that one, I don't know. But, uh... Where's the... Where, where am I going? I, I'm going to the, the yellow one. I think I do want to get one more tumbleweed. Just so I can get that best shield. It's probably not worth it. It's probably still going to break, like, way quicker than it should. Go check it out. I'll do the tumbleweed first, and I'll get the shield, and then I'll go do that. And then I guess we'll, uh, depending on how long this takes, we might start the dousing thing next time. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna get my bug net out and go tumbleweed hunting. Would like some hearts, I don't think I'm gonna get any. Hearts just don't appear to drop from grass anymore. I think they only come out of those uh, specific heart plants. Tumbleweeds. I don't want to mess with these, like, uh... I don't want to mess with these snails without a wooden shield to, like, block them. Nope, leave me alone. Faster beetle would be nice, but it's not like, uh, it doesn't feel like as much a necessity. 
I'm still missing a lot of monster drops for the other upgrades. <laughs> Oh, wait, I have a shortcut now, don't I? No, I don't have a shortcut here. I have a shortcut elsewhere. Maybe I can look for tumbleweeds from up here and then just, like, run down and grab it. No, back. Bug net. There we go. We having fun yet? Now these birds would have to be here. I have to get very creative with my projectiles in this game just because I don't have a bow and arrow. I can't believe we don't have one by now in this game, in a Zelda game. I just need one tumbleweed. That's all I need. Hey, 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 yes! All right. Let's get out of here. Bad at this game, and I'm bad at Animal Crossing. Alright. Uh, where's the nearest statue? to book it past the snail. No, leave me alone. I don't mess with you, you don't mess with me. Tired Link. Alright, back we go. I had so many opportunities to catch a tumbleweed earlier, and I was just fumbling with the controls. forces me to bring out the parachute. If I had my way, I'd let him go splat more often. Alright, there you are. I went all the way to the surface to get a tumbleweed for you. How do you how do you do any of this stuff for with people who can't go to the surface? Where where do you get tumbleweeds from elsewise? Has this dude just, like, studied ancient texts but not been able to actually make any of this stuff until I went to the surface and got these materials? <laughs> Alright, well, I've got the best wooden shield. I'm sure it will still break eventually. Maybe I just need to... Maybe if I catch it, I, it'll be worth just, like, coming back here to fix it. Really use some hearts. There's one of the plants. Are there more? I need hearts. I'm gonna go sleep, I guess. I don't remember where I live. Help. The dementia is setting in.
There's enough of these plants around that I get, it shouldn't really ever need to sleep, though. Feels like. I'll do it because I'm here. I'm gonna sleep in her room. <laughs> 24 hours. Link, superpower activate. 24 hours sleep. She's gonna come home at the end of the day, look at him in her bed, and be like, What the fuck? Where do I sleep? Well, I guess she's woken up, uh, done her business, and gotten started with her day. We slept through all that. Maybe she slept in our bed. Maybe she made do. Hey, mister? Sir? I have some bad news. Your daughter is hanging out with some bad company. Some evil witch has kidnapped her and is telling her that she should uh, not see me anymore. She should not come back home. You don't care about any of that? All right. Thanks. Gotta do everything here around here. What do you got to say, Fletch? Yeah, you're still on that. All right. Let's go find a place to check out the colorful island. How do I get out of here? Where's my jumping off point? There it is. Splat. I love it. I love seeing it. I still don't know how to open this, though. It's just a mysterious dark chest. Colorful island in the southwest. So it has to be this one, I assume. It's so far away. It's okay, I have a Star Fox style speed boosts. What is that? What are you? Oh, uh, you're an enemy. That hurt. I don't know. I thought I could, like, rob it or something. What are these magic speed boost rocks? What, what is the in-universe explanation for these? Wait, this isn't where I want to... This is the... No, this is the wrong beacon! I don't want to go to the pumpkin place. Okay, well now I'm heading the right way. I still don't know how to remove beacons. That's a tornado. I should probably avoid that. This is extremely Ghibli music. This is the, the Sky Pirates are all gearing up for combat. They're all about to go to Laputa and take on uh, the evil government, whatever's going on. Fire Lord Ozai has his eyes on the on the castle in the sky.
Mark Hamill loves his villain roles. He, he got so sick of being the good guy after Luke Skywalker. He just that's all that's all he wanted was animate cartoon villains. I can appreciate that. Villains are way more fun to voice. Alright, here's the colorful island. Is this a place of debauchery? Are we gambling here? Hello. Who are you? It's a sad clown. Dodo. Aw. My super wacky party wheel of fun fell off the island, way down below the clouds. Without that, there's just no way. The dream of fun is dead. I can't bring myself to do anything without it. The laughter is turned to tears. I think I saw your wheel. I wish I remembered where. Sorry. On, on these far-off islands, you just kind of, like, miraculously recover. You don't specifically see the, uh, the Night Savior or anything. Well, here's another one of these mysterious chests that I can't interact with. Okay, so in order to save a beacon, I just pick it up and then don't place it, I guess. I guess that's how I remove them. Is this the... So th this can't be the place that was being talked about because the person... The, the, the girl's not here. The dude's wife or whatever. I could get... This is a southwesterly island. I could go here, I guess. It's not, like, colorful, though. Bird, please. I have to run or he won't jump off the ledge. He'll just kind of flaccidly l hang off of it. Bird. Thank you. Alright, what is this? What is this island that I have found? This is one of the block islands that I haven't visited. I can open this chest. I got a small seed. Okay. So I can I can just find these in addition to buying them. All right. Uh, hmm. Is that a hookshot thing? Do I need to hookshot that uh, that bunch of leaves? I don't think I can do this. All right. Oh, back to the desert, I suppose. That person who, uh, lost his wife, or daughter, or whatever, was gonna have to wait. That sad clown will also have to wait. Wasn't it, uh... Was it at the desert entrance that I saw the wheel? been at the mine entrance. I don't remember which it was. Thank you. Let me check the desert entrance real quick. Then I'll go back to the north desert. I could have sworn I saw the like the color wheel thing right around here. <gasps> Oh, 
No, nope, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Maybe not. Perhaps I was mistaken. Stupid snail. Well, that was a slight waste of time. Unless it was under here and it got, like, re-rocked again. Oh, oh well. Alright. Unfortunately, I have to go to the sky and then back down again. I can't just, like, warp to another one of the bird statues. As convenient as that would be. Is that how it works? He just he just flies back up with his sail, with his parachute. Alright, thank you for catching me, bird. I actually wish to go immediately back down again, because I guess that's how travel works in this game. Yes, bird, I agree. It is very dumb. Alright, North Desert. I think I might have time to do the dousing stuff before, uh, then maybe next time we would start inside the temple. There's a lot of stuff we haven't done around here, because we still don't have, like, the hookshot, for example. Basketball. What was that? It was just one of the yin yang things. Uh. Dousing. Here we go. Well, that was fast. That was easy. It's like it's like a room. There's gonna be like a, a little mini dungeon in here. Yeah. Yeah. What are these piles of mold? I haven't done this in a little while. We got barrels. Out of here, snail. Return to your home. And it died. Great. I can't even use it like I'm supposed to. Thankfully, the bombs don't sink in the sand. Uh, very convenient, that. That would make this a lot more annoying. Oh boy, what did I do? Uh... We're in a factory now. There's Bokoblins. There's treasure chests. Worthless treasure chests. That was unintentional. I'm glad it worked out. I gotta get my thing out. 
manually. How much did that do? Equipped. It doesn't tell me how, like, uh, how healthy it is. Come on. What is the point of having this version of this room with these treasure chests down here? Also, what do I do with this, like, baby snail? Can I use it to power things? Is it useful? Oh, I bet I can roll it. Maybe. No, I, I pressed the wrong button. That's what happened. There we go. Yeah! Snail-powered battery. This feels like animal abuse, but you know what? I don't care. Fuck those snails. Hello. Trying to configure the device to get you into the Nehru mining facility. You look kind of suspicious. I assume that was like twisting the Wiimote in the original. That was a, a, little, a little harder with a joystick, but uh, we got it. We figured it out. Does this robot only exist here to, uh, to guard this power node and be sad when someone activates it despite not having his permission. This dude had one job and he couldn't even do it. I gotta find th like three rooms like this, don't I? What do you got? Where am I? There I am. Uh, is this the end of the, yeah, this is the end of the, of the walkable path. Well, in theory, if that's what the rooms look like, then this should also be one of them. But that's only two. I, is there one over here? that. Is there anywhere I can go from here? No. Oh, hello. What is this bird dropping on me? I have several questions. Uh... Should I just book it through these guys? Like, I guess I could. Yeah, I'll just do that. Huh? 
I don't want to expend time or energy procure procuring bombs with which to deal with them. What else can we do around here? This place looks like it's going to be a lot more traversable with the hookshot. Okay, hello. This is what I expect from a bombable location. A nice, big, obvious crack. Hello. Nope. I don't want to mess with you. Exactly the wrong timing. There we go. Those are very annoying enemies, those electric chews. And there's another one. No more, please. God damn it! I hate it! Get off. Go away. Please. I hate this. There we go. I don't bet this was just for a heart piece or uh, even worse, 20 rupees. Alright, this was a heart piece. Have I still not completed a new heart yet? Also, am I going to get the double claw shot? Or something similar? Because it looks like I'm going to be, uh... I'm going to be going back. I'm going to be going uh, back and forth between hookshot targets at some point. Which, if so, I'm glad they kept that, because that was a cool thing in Twilight Princess. Really thought that bombable wall was going to be one of the power stations. Joke's on me, I guess. Alright, where can we go from here? We can go over this way. I'd probably be dousing more if I really wanted to. Unfortunately, these stupid snails are still everywhere around here. Here we go. Here's an area. We're on the other side of the wall now. I think I can go activate the switch. That would just be a lovely thing to do. That way I can deal with them without damaging my shield. The combat in this game looks very silly. I'm sure you could mix up strikes, but it's easier to just, like, mash one swing over and over again. I got a sand cicada. Still don't know what these are useful for, but I might as well collect them. Oh, hello. What are you? Are you the ants? Ah, oh, it's just the ants. I've got those already. Oh, I stepped on one! Agatha would be so disappointed. What is this, this Star Wars-like structure? It, it really looks like, uh... It really looks like I should be, like, here with Padme or something.
Haven't gotten any drops from them yet. Alright, new bird statue. Stone cash. Where am I on the map? Uh okay, this is the this is the other one of the other stations. This is where I figured we'd be. Get freaking electric slimes! Choo 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 electric boogaloo. Hate him. Oh, okay. Find a pile of bombs and crates and barrels. I guess that makes sense. I'm blowing myself up a lot this stream. It, it doesn't need to be happening. What was that? There was a sign? Monthly Temple of Time Cleaning Assignments. It's a silly game. Don't really want to, uh... Don't really want to deal with this. Don't really want to deal with this thing. I was hoping I could roll the barrel like Donkey Kong, but Link doesn't seem to be capable of that. Behold, the ancient GameCube. All right, here we go. And yeah, now this room becomes much easier. So how old is the Bokoblin race that these things just always existed? I wish it didn't take me two shield uses to deal with these guys. I now have to be very conservative with my shield use. I don't think- I don't think I'm gonna like that aspect of Breath of the Wild. I think the breakable equipment is really gonna bother me. Hello, Apollo. Uh, is this pushable? Do I have to worry about- I don't have to worry about pushing this. I am playing Skyward Sword right now. What a coincidence! Are you playing the original or are you playing HD? And also, is it your first time? Because I am playing this game blind. I've never seen or played it before. This might be a strange way to assess it, but it feels like halfway between a Zelda game and a Mario game. There's a lot of very Mario-ish design elements in this particular game. No. No iframes. I want to hit the body while it's down. How far along are you? I am on the third dungeon area. There's like three tablet things you get to get for the, the statue at the start of the game. And this is the third of those three. Not seeing the path to cross. 
Do I need to kill all the Boko Blends, or am I just being blind? Alright, Boko Blends are down. What's in here? 20 rupees? 5 rupees, even worse. Is there something that I can do with these electric snails? I have an idea. It's kind of a dumb idea. I don't think this is the solution, but let me try it. No, I can't, like, uh... I can't throw barrels. I, I wanted to, like, throw the barrel up there so that I could then step on it, but uh, that does not appear to be the solution. I have another thought. Now that this thing has the claws, can I pick up these little electric dudes? Is that what they want me to do? This might be a stretch. This doesn't seem like the correct thing to do. I think they would want me to, like, uh, find a way to get over there myself. Yeah. Uh, is there a bomb around? If there's a bomb flower, I can blow up that rock. I don't know why there would be a flower indoors, though. Can't pick up barrels, can it? No, it cannot. Hmm. second one of these guys over here. Having two doesn't really help me, though. Surely there wouldn't be a bomb flower indoors. I can't place my own and then carry it, because once I place it, then it's, uh... It's, like, started. The fuse is lit. doing a ton of farming to try to upgrade everything. I just, uh, I did some farming for the, uh, the best wooden shield. I, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it to, uh... Yeah, this isn't gonna work. This is not the way to do it. I wish I could, like, upgrade to an unbreakable shield of each type. I wish I could just get the best version of an item and then just keep it forever. There's not bombs up here. No, just, just ceiling fans. Okay. I have one other idea, but this can't be the case either. I could throw a bomb up there, but that won't that won't help because it's not it's not gonna like roll all the way. You can climb that. I tried. No, I can't climb this. I don't know if you can hookshot chests in this game, but I'm 
pretty sure- oh, I haven't dug this yet. What is this? There's just hearts. Okay. Useless. Nothing. I don't even get to keep the hearts. What items do I have? Don't have anything else that seems like it could help me in this scenario. Don't see any switches or anything to cut. Maybe I maybe I need to not have it. Maybe I need to switch back and forth. Maybe I'm, I'm like overthinking this, or underthinking, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think that was it. <laughs> I think I just needed to cross it while it was sand somehow first. Is there a way that I can get across this now? Maybe there's a bomb flower in this version of the room? Oh, wait. I think I know what it wants. Uh, I don't like it, but I think I know. I don't know why I tried to do it that way. There's probably way better ways of doing that. Thankfully, it still worked. I need to get to it quickly. Uh, run, Link, run! Ah, yeah, shell surfing. This is this is very a very hard Zelda game, comparatively speaking. These dungeons make you think. rid of him. Yeah, no, I know I can change the time now. I figure it out. Is this guy still over here where I left him? No, he's not. Okay, I gotta bring another one over. A little tedious, but doable. Actually, I can make this go a little bit faster. A lot faster, actually. Thought I'd have to carry it over myself, but I can just do this. go. Go on. Climb up, Link. You can do it. What other, uh, what other Zelda games have you played, Apollo? Are you pretty well-versed on the series? And what is your opinion of this game so far? My opinion at the point that I am at is that it's not a bad game. It doesn't it doesn't feel like a Zelda game though. Got a monster horn. Okay, it's crafting material. Wait, is this not one of the stations? Don't tell me I did this for nothing. Surely there's okay, here's the thing. Yeah, it's right here. Played Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Age of Calamity, and Skyward Sword. Okay, so... You haven't played any of the, like, classic 3D Zelda games. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are kind of their own cat category as compared to uh, the other Zelda games. As I understand. <laughs>
All right, one more, one more MacGuffin to find. This game and Twilight Princess both kind of feel like they drag on at times. Wind Waker kind of had that problem, but in just one specific spot of the game. The rest of it had pretty good pacing. And, and, and N64 Zeldas are, you know, considered classics by everybody. You don't find a whole lot of people complaining about those. Alright, where is my third thing? My third MacGuffin. Is either... I went out this way. That, that was a dead end. I don't know what's over here. West Desert. Go out there, I suppose. That looks like it goes somewhere. Let's go to the West Desert. Defeated by the power of circles. Aha! Are you using the uh, motion controls or the uh, the button controls, Apollo? I, th I think I actually would have preferred the motion controls for this particular game. I'm kind of committed to using the buttons ones because I have it I'm mean, playing on the Switch, and uh, my Joy-Cons have, like, awful drift, so that's kind of not possible at this point. Alright, West Desert, where am I going? I want to go up here. Can I get up there without the hook shot? I don't know if I can. Uh, I, I kind of went out that way once. Oh, it might even be faster to, uh... It might be faster to, to fast travel instead of, like, going across this stupid snail puzzle again. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be lazy. Leave me alone, snail. Hello, Jack. Uh, I make. I feel like I'm making faster progress in the game than I had anticipated. I'm on the third dungeon area of supposedly four. This is like the the part that is like building up to the dungeon. I, I think I'm going to uh, get to the entrance of the dungeon and stop for the day. Does YouTube say that I'd stop streaming? Oh, I think I think I uh, I think my internet might have dropped and I went offline for a second for a few seconds. That might have messed with YouTube. West Desert, that's where I want to go. Alright, what can I do from here that I haven't done yet? Uh, this is the place with the... Oh, wait, have I been up here yet? I have been up here, but what have I done with it? Uh... I don't think I can get up there. That looks like the area that would have the... Is that the temple entrance? The dungeon entrance? Wherever I'm going? You know, I probably should have just, like, doused to find where I'm going. What's over here? Maybe there's something over that way. 
Oh, get out of here, snail. That's gonna be a little bit too far. No, please, Link, make it, make it, make it, Link! Yes, thank you. That was a little shitty. This game has some very strange mechanics, Jack. It's got a lot of creative ideas, it's just kind of held back by the, the gimmickiness of, like, the motion control being forced everywhere. It wasn't Leneru from the Oracle games. Was that, like, the name of a town? All three of the uh, goddesses, Din, Nehru, and Feror, were in the Oracle games. Leneru was one of the places in uh, Twilight Princess. There's a lot of those names coming back. Oh, I can get up here. I don't know if I can get, like, up here, up here, because I don't have a hook shot, but... Leave me alone, electric fish thing. Jack, this area is a desert that's full of electric creatures, and scattered about it are time stones that create bubbles of the past of the desert. Does that make any sense what I just said? This game has some weird fucking settings. Oh, where's this is the temple. I was here already. Uh I know I get out from here. How did I do that? I don't remember how I left from this place. I'm gonna have to fast travel from the- I'm gonna have to fly up again. I think this game is similar to Mario Galaxy in some ways. If you can get past the waggling, you you might like it, Jack. It, it is actually better with... I think it is actually better with motion controls, though. And you know controls have to be very, very janky for me to say that motion controls are better. I appreciate that they tried to adapt it to a button scheme, but it is, in fact, very, very janky. Most of the time when I do anything in this game, I still have to, like, stop and think about what I'm doing. Alright, Desert Gorge. Let's try North Desert. That's where the buried paths are. Alright, uh... Where am I? I want to check out here. That's my next... This, this looks suspicious. I'm gonna go that way. No, face this way, Link. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm off the path. I'm off the path. Get on the path, Link. That was a death rattle. That was a yell. He did not enjoy that. Uh, yeah. 
And any of the combat in this game is motion controls, but I, I get the feeling it would, like, feel natural with motion controls. Because it's, it's, it is just like swinging your sword in various ways. Using your shield. Alright, what's in here? Have I been in here? This goes to the Temple of Time. So this isn't where I'm trying to go. I, if this bird would kindly fuck off, that would be just wonderful. Do I have, Can I deal with this bird somehow? There's a bomb here. Okay, I can deal with this bird. If I have to fight you, you... I don't think you'd be fighting the controls if it was motion controls. I have to fight the controls because I'm trying to play a game designed for motion controls with uh, buttons. Come back. You know it's coming. You can't escape. There we go. Dumb bird. All right. Where am I going from here? That way. This is where I'm going. As dead end? Nothing. All right, I've been here already. Uh, yeah, I need to douse. I didn't want to douse, but I need to douse. I see two of these, like, big station-like areas. I'm looking for a third one, is what I'm trying to find. Is she leading me to the temple? Is that what's going on? No, she's not. Oh, she- wait, th that is the third one? I just gotta go back to that? I gotta go- I, I gotta go back to it, not in the present, but in the past, I see. Okay, let me create my past bubble. Three of these, not two of them. Fi, what are you doing? Where am I going? Over here. Robot, please. Robot. Uh. Okay. I guess that's conspicuous. Yeah, that's kind of conspicuous. I know it wants me to use waypoints, but waypoints are annoying, so I'm not, I'm not going to. You know what else is annoying? Birds. Yes, sir, I don't like birds. That's better. Get rid of that death sand. I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. Oh, 
This one's not in a factory at all. I just have to go come in and turn it. That's great. Is Fi yes, Fi is our Zonpakuto spirit. I don't think she has a Bonkai. I don't think Link ever, uh, ever attains that, unfortunately. Like most Zanpakuto spirits, he also finds her very annoying and he doesn't particularly like seeing her. She's kind of useless. Her advice is not helpful, nine times out of ten. What is your report, Fi? Okay. I see. Uh, fire's bottom right. Oh, this is like a clock, right? One, two, three, four. Fire water electric is four, nine, twelve. Twelve four nine. There we go. There's no way kids are going to solve that. This is also a very hard Zelda game, Jack. I've got I've gotten stuck a lot in this. I've died several times. This has had some brain scratchers. That was one of the few times Fi kind of explains things to you, so that, that that was helpful, but, uh... I feel like a lot of kids who own this game probably got stuck there. What, what is the, what are these robot torches? Are we gonna have a, an electronic desert temple? Is that what we're in for? Nehru Mining Facility. Ah. That is the dungeon. So we got two proper temples and a mining facility. Okay. Well, we made good progress. Two streams in, about ten hours, and we are about to start the third temple of supposedly four. So it, it feels like we're making good time with this. I'd like to think we'll get it done within the week, but that's probably being optimistic. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. There's going to be some, some bullshit, some Triforce hunt that's going to make this game take way longer than it seems like it's going to. We'll see, though. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Another probably about five-hour stream. I'm going to take on this temple. Maybe we'll even get to the fourth temple. Maybe we'll complete that in the same stream. Who knows? I'm curious where this game is going. Thank you guys for hanging out today, and I will see you next time.